McCarthy. <laughs> the Curious Case of J.J. McCarthy. What's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the Press Box. I'm here with Lonnie Trent early. My co-host, Bama, one half of the CTE Mafia, and the double champ himself, Trent Random. We all here ready, locked and loaded. Um, jam-packed show, got a lot of topics to siphon through. But we're going to start with our, our title, The Curious Case of J.J. McCarthy in the NFL Draft. As we all know, it is pro day week. These teams are getting off their pro days. Their scouts are outside. Guys are getting the opportunity to throw, make their case. Some guys are not performing in the pro day, and some guys, their pro day is showing or skyrocketing their draft stop. But with that being said, there are rumors swirling around the NFL that the Cardinals might be looking to trade the number four pick in the draft, which really might align for a team that's looking to get a quarterback. Let's say, for example, a Minnesota Vikings, a, a New York Giants. You never know. A lot of these teams are speaking to J.J. McCarthy. Speaking of the Vikings, do you think the Vikings are primed to try to move into the top five to secure one of these quarterbacks in the draft? And I'll let Lonnie start this one because he says he has some beef with the Vikings anyway. So, Lonnie, you, you go for it. So, looking at because they're apparently they're really locked in on J.J. McCarthy. I like him a little bit more than some of y'all, but it really got me thinking about, like, some of these teams. A lot of these teams are just okay with being just contend, like, playoff teams. They, they're A lot of these teams are just okay with mediocrity. Look at look at their offense. They have Jettas, the, arguably the best receiver in the, in the world. They got Addison, one of the best rookies last year. They got Hawkinson, a top five tight end. So you have a loaded young roster on the offensive side and you need a quarterback. So why don't you go all in on a quarterback? Like we know, like they have, they have the draft capital. Their defense was not bad last year. Yeah. They lost Hunter to the Texans, but you can still find other pass rushers to supplement that. So why aren't they selling the field to for new England to get that number three pick to get a Jaden Caleb or Drake? I mean, are you willing to give up J uh, Justin Jefferson in the process? Oh, that might be the like, asking price. I think, like, yo, giving up two firsts to move up, two firsts and maybe a third, that that can – Patriots would take that. I mean, but if you, say they, that. if you say they like J.J. McCarthy, why would they go up to number three? Why won't they just go to really number four? Like uh, do, you think, do you think the ceiling of J.J. McCarthy is as high as the ceiling of Drake, May, Jaden, or Caleb? No, because we all know – even at, even at mean, J.J. McCarthy's best – I'm Some just saying, J.J. McCarthy's best, age. he'll still – at best, he could be maybe fringe top 10, 12, whatever. We, mm. People are saying Drake May could be Justin Herbert level. Jaden, Jaden's like a skinnier Lamar. Caleb's, uh, Caleb's a poor man's Patrick Mahomes. Those are quarterbacks that you can like win, that you can see yourself winning championships, MVPs with. So like, if you have a loaded ro offensive roster with all that firepower, you want to give them a JJ McCarthy, or would you want to give them a Drake May Jaden? Like, like these teams are just cool, just being regular, and it's just. It's just annoying. Yeah, I'm not gonna hold you if they're if they're thinking about trading. I think because I think me personally, the top three is going to be Caleb, May, and JD. So that top three, if you if you're going to trade up, you're gonna have to trade up to get in that top three round if you really want to go all in. And me personally, if you because the Patriots, I think the Patriots, even though they need a quarterback, I can see them trading back, especially right. if you get multiple first rounders because. Patriots, them, that team is so lost. They need so many pieces. If, if Patriots get a couple first rounders, maybe a couple right. second thirds, they might take that. So I think the yeah. Vikings, give, like the line said, give them some two first. Go get number three. Like you shouldn't be trading with the Cardinals because realistically, those three, the best three quarterbacks are probably going to be gone. So I would right. trade with three, get Drake May, call it or Jaden Daniels, and call it a day. But yeah, I'm because like I've been saying, I think those, I think those are the only three quarterbacks that are first round quarterbacks. And right. I don't think I think JJ McCarthy, like even though JJ McCarthy's young, he has a good ceiling, but he has a very low ass floor. I don't think right. he, I don't think you take him with eleven. Yeah. Also, Jetta said that he wants a really good quarterback to stay with but the Vikings. See, the thing is though, you like think, you think he's gonna be like, oh yeah, JJ JJ's gonna be my QB. Lonnie, though, the same. The thing is though, receivers though sometimes though like they they can speak about what they want unless Jettis requests a trade for real. He gonna have to deal with it. So like, <laughs> is he locked in? I think he. I mean, that's 
Yeah. I think he's on his last year. He's on his last year, so they got. I mean, they're they're definitely going to have to extend him before the season. Before yeah, like, like they go into the season, and if they don't plan on extending him, I could see him in a situation where he's asking for a trade. Because yeah. I mean, there's there's no reason to even like if I'm Justin Jefferson, I'm not dealing with. I'm not. We're not even having like a conversation. feel out conversation about this extension. Yeah, like I'm not taking a employee discount. I'm not holding out and waiting another year. I definitely won't. Y'all definitely not tagging me because that'll. Yeah, yeah we. Yeah, let's we not even play ourselves play on that tag. Yeah, no, let's not even play he's, ourselves he's with that. Himself. Yeah, let's not even play ourselves with the tag. So. True, the real the reality of it is if they don't if they don't get something done ASAP, I mean I don't think if I'm Justin Jefferson, I don't really feel like I need to be too patient on getting the extension done because I mean my resume more than speaks for itself. I, I don't know. I feel like in this situation, Justin Jefferson got more leverage than the owners will have more leverage. Because I feel you Loki. I feel if he wasn't the best receiver in the league, like I would feel you. Like you just gotta put up with it. But him He's showing his body of work with a Kirk Cousins, and then yeah. we even seen the videos of him. Come on, Kirk! Kirk. He's screaming at him like, "Bro, like maybe the leverage though." I ain't gonna do. He got crazy leverage. He's crazy leverage. He, he do, it's, it's he Danner, he, he he the biggest receiver since Randy Moss. Easily, you got, you got a, I hate, so, I hate to say, I, I don't want to OD and interrupt I just you, like you. You, you. Go ahead, bro. My bad. Is he lagging? I'm watching. Yeah, he's lagging a little bit. Go ahead, bro. No. I think I'm he lagging. Yeah, he lagging a bit. Hold on. Oh, go ahead. Nah, but I, no, yeah. I, no, I agree with Bama. I didn't mean to cut him over. I, I, I agree with Bama. Like, and the reality of it is, Justin Jefferson is on pace to be one of the best receivers to in the history to play the foot the game. I agree. From the moment he touched the 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 NFL to you know, if you look at his numbers, he's on that level of a pace. So I'm just with Bama. Like, I'm on pace to be one of the greatest to ever do this at the position. I'm not. There's no, there's no deep conversations. I need, I'm resetting the market at a, I want 150. <laughs> Shit, I can ask for that. I can ask for 150 million dollars to play wide receiver. Hold on, yeah. but who do we think Jackson Jefferson is though? Who you ta- what you talking about? Oh, no. what what you you talking about? about? Let me say this. Let me what say this. No, no, no early. Back. Don't start. <laughs> First of all, hey, welcome back. Welcome back. First of all, <laughs> he lost leverage this year because you got hurt and we saw Jordan Addison cook. Now my mindset is I don't have to pay you the big bag. If you really want to go, I'm going right. to start Jordan Addison as my number one. I'm a, this, And we talk about a receiver court draft? Time out, I'm going to go get me a receiver to go along with Jordan Addison. No. And no, if somebody want to get you, watch, I got him, Jay. Watch this. Twenty-five this. million a year. Justin Jefferson is not out of the sky. Hold on, hold on, Lonnie. I got you. Hold on. This how you know. Oh Jettis my God. Has, this how you have. This how you know. Jettis has hell leverage. Even though he got hurt, he got a K in nine games. What are we? Come doing? on, bro. What are we talking about? He got a thousand yards in nine games. Early, it's a, it's a seventeen game season, brother. It's a seventeen game season. Lily, his his rookie season. His for his rookie season. Look, 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 his rookie season, he went 1,400. The second year, 1,600. The third year, 1,800. And then, literally, he gets hurt and has a K in nine games. He has all the leverage in the world because yeah, there's bro. no way you're telling – if they lose Jettis, they're over with. So, over as a – okay, so as a as an ex-tight end, right? Yes. I understand something. I understand something very clear. I don't give a damn what receiver you are. <laughs> I don't give a damn what, how great you think you are. Thank can anybody, you are. Can everybody answer me this one question? In order for a receiver to be productive, what does he need? A quarterback that can get him the football. So, Dependent position. I don't give a damn who you think you are as a receiver. You, you, like quarterback. I understand because your quarterback touches the ball every play. Quarterbacks can really be great on their own. We talk Cam New. We've seen the history. Yeah, Jettis. I, you talk about Randy Moss. Randy Moss is the greatest I've ever seen. I watched Randy Moss go to Oakland and die for two years. Die for yeah. two years. By the time the Patriots got him, they got him for nothing for a reason because we thought he was washed. Wait. So literally, Jettis can do that. But if we ship you somewhere, wait, wait, wait. they don't have a receipt, a quarterback, you'll be George Pickett. And niggas who we think can be great. Yeah, yeah, that's cap, that's cap. But How are they going to ship him? Wait, wait, wait. He was, he he was, was snapping with, with Nick yeah, Mullins. Yeah, yeah, like, what, come on. We, we talk about the situation yeah. of you dying yeah, when Kirk got hurt. He snapped with anybody. And then what did DeAndre Hawkins just do when Jimmy was there? 
And he ain't go over there and die in Oakland. Let's not. He did get a not John Hollins, but about the Adams. Yeah, like, Adams, well, you being he nasty. Like nine hundred yard thousand yards. Barely. He went. Bro, he had, did it? Did it? Devontae yeah. have fifteen hundred with the Raiders? Before this season, Devontae. Ho ho ho! You gotta understand. Devontae had fifteen hundred. Jimmy Garoppolo. They started a. The Eddie Collins started feeding him. Okay, even 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 though that he didn't have fifteen hundred, he started over a hundred plus receptions, twelve hundred yards, and like multi TD. So, but again, that was half of Aiden Aiden O'Connell, like. Go check his stats. The time I, 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 good I, I, receivers I, I, are good receivers. Look at what Eric Wilson did with Jack Wilson. You're, when you're a top Come three in the now, game, talk about it. When you're top three in the game and you're not on a like good team and your quarterback just left, you have a lot of leverage. So where can he go, y'all? Where they're going to be able to afford to pay him and have a good quarterback? He ain't going to Kansas City. We can afford. Why not? We go. We go to the Giants. He can go to his teammate or his old front, teammate. Oh, you can front load the contract. He can go to the Bengals. Yeah, he can go to Bengals. You got the money. You got to. No, you have to pay so many players in the Bengals. Yo, you everybody's pay paying players. everybody, bro. Listen, listen. This is what I keep trying to tell people, oh, bro. Right, if, bro. It right. means, if it means, if it means, if it means a, a Super Bowl, you will put yourself in cap hell. Ask the Rams. How many times we have to use the Rams as an example? Literally. Do you think the Rams care? That they are having to rebuild under Sean McVay yeah, for the next three right years. No, they don't. No, no, they, they went to the playoffs. They still, still went to the playoffs. Exactly. They're still, still competitive. They got Bryce Young. They got Kobe. When, when, you're, when, you got you want to, when you want to go all in, you're going to go all they, in. And, you, and you're they not going to have no regrets. They just paid a luxury tax. Like, I don't think y'all niggas really understand the concept of the salary cap. Like, that's just like some mythical shit just so teams just don't stack teams ridiculous. Facts. But they put in there, if you do choose to stack your team, luxury. you have to pay a luxury tax. And we've seen it where these teams will say, fuck it. I'm going to stack my team and yeah. pay the luxury tax. Because the picks. amount of money they get throughout the year, they're going to have Jay-Z concerts. They're going to have all type of shit. That's going to get that luxury tax right back in their pocket. So, right. so if I got a chance to get a Justin Jefferson. The Vikings got rid of Randy Moss. If I'm Cincinnati, just think about this. If I'm Cincinnati, right, and I got a chance to have Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson, my nigga, I'm going to pay that luxury tax. You don't think that they're going to have a sit-down with okay. Because if we win a Super Bowl, I'm like, not going to give a damn about money. Receivers. Receivers. You can win a Super Bowl. Is that what you think? You said what? With Joe Burrow? With, with Joe, Joe Burrow? Burrow? And, 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 and. We've seen the Bengals went to the Super Bowl already. If Joe Burrow comes back and he's fully healthy, which is nothing we gotta talk about, you take out T. Higgins and plug in Jetta. If you beat Jamar and Jetta, they had the same old line they've been having. Yes, they all make yes. They just improved their old line. They just whoa, whoa, whoa. They just signed Trent Brown. Are you telling me with a straight face that two top five receivers on one team can't get to a ball? Yeah, facts. facts. Just signed Trent Brown. Yeah, Jamar Chase and Jetta still got Bengals on line. It won't matter because he ain't getting the ball. Bro, the, the early. Why are you making it seem like okay, we haven't on, seen let's, let's receivers? Let's, let's, why are you making it seem like we haven't seen receivers go off with bad quarterbacks? With the Bengals off the line. It's not that bad quarterbacks, y'all. What I'm telling y'all is that a receiver, unless your team is complete, like the Bengals have other stuff they have to worry about. Just getting a the receiver, they were good with T. Higgins, y'all. Okay, like, here's another one. I got to. Oh, okay, let's say let's say let's take the Bengals out the equation. Let's say the 49ers have a chance to go get Justin Jefferson. I bet you they will. Mm-hmm. Yes, they Birdie will. Brady with JJ. Oh, now it's party with JJ, right? Yeah. Party with JJ. Oh, yeah. I want to see that. Wow. But I'm going to be real with you, though. In the same breath, though. In the same breath. Even if you go get a party, get rid of Debo. Get a party, you got an IU, right? At the end of the day, if it still holds that. Get rid of Debo. The most definitely get rid of Debo. Why would you and keep Ayuk. Debo? You keep Ayuk. Like Debo? My thing is this, though. You still got a, a aging Trent Williams. You, you need, you, you're going to need more O-linemen. You're going to need a better corner to go on the other side of Ward. You got rid of Chase Young, who actually did well in the Super Bowl. You're going to need more pass rushing to get to get that back together. Your linebacker core is set, but it's just other stuff you're going to need. Now, our teams are a receiver away, but I do believe that unless you have a situation where you're just a receiver away, because even, look, as good as Judge Jefferson is, part, you still got a scheme for him to be able to, for Purdy to give him the ball along with Brandon Ayuk, because we saw y'all, we saw we saw the playoffs, Kittle very, barely touched the ball, dog. Yeah, he was blocking the entire playoff, though, he I it. think our point is, though, with me, Ben, and J-Rob saying, with, like, with teams that are contending for a bowl, if somebody like a Justin Jefferson is on a market, a lot of these teams will, will go all in. Yeah, if Kansas City goes out the way and goes super over the tack, because you imagine you gave $20 million, and get Justin Jefferson, it is over. It's like, a for, you know, it's, for example, this is a team that is willing to go all in, but they're still trying to fix the piece on defense, because they still can't. Look what the Eagles just did. 
Them signing Saquon Barkley was a luxury sign. A player like Facts. Saquon Barkley, the, the Eagles really don't need a Saquon. But it's Saquon Barkley out on the market. If I have a chance to go get him, I'm going to go get him. Because you're trying to go all in and win a Super Bowl. That's what these teams are trying to do. Right. So, like, bro, like, these teams. But even are, what happened to Bonte and getting A.J. Brown, as good as they was, when they got to the Super Bowl, they still lost. But they, they lost by how many points earlier? They still, they were up by 10, bro, my boy. I'm they saying, still lost. I'm saying. But there's because there's other players. factors on a NFL team yeah, that no. matter. A player like, like a Saquon like Barkley, a player like a Justin the greatest Jackson, greatest dog. Unless he's going to Kansas a City, play. unless he's going to, like I said, the 49ers. There's only a few places he can go. Where what if he, 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 the, what if he went to the Lions early? What if he went to the Lions? The Lions don't need him. The Lions got listen. The Lions run the ball anyway. They they had a great offense, y'all. Let's get something clear. They have yeah, a great offense. They don't need the sun god. So the sun god wasn't balling either. They got to your route guy. All you really need with the Lions is a better defense, dog. A better defense with the Lions takes them All over I'm the saying this, bro. All I'm saying is, though, players like Justin Jefferson and Saquon, yeah, these teams are losing by three points, seven points to the Chiefs. Those players like that can help you win the game. And those are those type, those type of game changers. So, again, they right. out in that market. If you're a contending team, you go all in. It doesn't even with the 49ers situation because they're about to ship Ayuk out of there. So they're probably going to keep Debo. If Which I'm the 49ers. Insanity. Well, yeah, which is it is, but even though, like, if Justin Jefferson's on that market and the 49ers have a chance to go get him, go get him. Like, like that, 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 that's a crazy needle mover. Like, that would be crazy. Like, you got to go all in if you want to win this bowl, bro, because you facing Patrick Mahomes, who just won with his worst Super Bowl crew. Facts. You get somebody like it's, that, that can change the outcome, bro. It's only like, getting and it's only going to get worse. That ass, like, he's going to have better teams, players are going to come along and get better. So, that's what I'm saying, bro. I just, I, I, I don't think, I think as good as Justin Jefferson is, dog, it's only a few places he's going to go. But are they willing to pay the electric tax, as we said, when they can come over? Again, a Kansas City is Justin Jefferson. They are Justin Jefferson away from running the table for the next three years, dog. Like, I get that. Defense is already there. Your quarterback player is already there. Your coach is already there. Well, one star receiver, it's over with, dog. It's over with. It's over with. Facts. No, Yo, early, I agree. Go, early, go get some light, my boy. Facts. <laughs> Go get some light, my boy. <laughs> For real, no, because it looked like a shadow, bro. It's doing them wrong. Nah, facts, facts, facts. But I'm going to be honest. Justin Jefferson is a needle mover for any football team. So the reality of it is I think anybody would go for broke to bring in Justin Jefferson. And I think the Vikings would be crazy to let him go, honestly, just due to the fact that he is, I mean, he's a game-changing level player. But with that being said, Obviously, there's some free agents that are still left on the table. Xavier Howard, Jadavian Clown, he still haven't signed. Justin the discrimination Simmons, against McCoy is crazy. Makai Beckton, Stephon Gilmore, Ryan Tannehill, OBJ, our dog Adoree Jackson is still out there. Even Tyler Boyd, uh, of some of the free agents that are still available, which team and which player do y'all think really is could pretty much be a, a – an actual needle mover or could actually fix a flaw for one. Can you of say these those names again? Teams. Like some of those names again? Yeah, I got. I'll give you some. Okay, I'll actually, I'll go. I'll go top. I'll go with the top twenty guys. I'll say some names for y'all. All right, you ready? Yeah. Uh, Xavier Howard, Connor Williams, Jadavian Clowney, Justin Simmons, Makai Becton, Julian Blackman, Stephon Gilmore, Stephen Nelson, Ryan Tannehill, Dalton Risner, OBJ, Adoree Jackson, Tyler Boyd, Tredavious White, Calais Campbell. Hunter Renfro, DJ Chark Jr., Michael Thomas, and Michael Gallup. See any of those players you can see going somewhere and it being a splash? So see, it's like with those group of guys, bro. Well, no, number one, I don't know how Justin Simmons is not signed yet because it's a top safety in the league. Mm-hmm. I think that's the one that's kind of like that might be more of a money thing. Yeah, that might be more of a money thing. But like when you talking about all these other guys, either they're old, washed, or injured. Like my dog, my cousin Trey White. Like Trey White when healthy is a top five guy. Like right. he's really like that. Yeah, when healthy. Same yeah, deal. exactly. When healthy, he hasn't been healthy since 2021. And we in 2024. He done torn his ACL, blown his Achilles. So those are gonna be this probably may probably be a money thing, also an injury thing. Stephon Gilmore, he's getting up in age, even though I think he still had a solid year. OBJ up in age, injuries. Yeah. Makai Becton, he even though he's young, bunch of injuries. Like a lot of these guys, Jadavion Jav- Clowney, he's coming off his best year. But I'll probably say, like, I think, like, just for a piece, though, just though, um, because I think even though the Lions got Carlton Davis, which was a really good pickup for them, you can still go out there and get another corner. So, again, got, like, Gilly, yeah. 
Trey White, that can still help them a lot in that defense. So I'll probably say those probably be the best two for real. I can I, and I think the biggest thing, guys, is that this draft is something we've never seen before. A lot of people are just waiting to see what the chips fall right now. Let's yeah. see who's trading what. Let's see what's moving. Yeah, what's moving. Like, it just came out the Cardinals want to trade. Now it's like, wait a minute now. I was going to go get this guy, but now I might have some extra money to go move some things, push some things around, move some players. Like, this draft, really one of them drafts where, like, once this draft is over with, it's about to be an onslaught in free agency. Once we get the few with pieces getting moved in this draft, I bet. Because, again, if I'm a Kansas City Chief, I might be able to trade some, get some, go get me a young guy that's a receiver, a Rome Badu, a Duze, or one of these guys. Mm-hmm. Or Bryce or Brendan Rice and do something with one of these young guys. So you know what Keenan Keenan Cole Coleman, like I'd get somebody young and do something. But if not, now okay, now let's go see what OBG talk about. Let's go kick the ties on OBJ. Let's go see what Justin Simmons talk about. Let's go get, get a trade. And not only to mention that with this draft, there's so many different pieces in this draft, corners, receivers, quarterbacks, that a lot of stuff can be filled and you can save money on the cap. I don't have to pay a star receiver like a star corner like Trey, like White. When I can go get a guy from the draft and pay him, get this get get similar productivity, not the same because the rookie's never better than the vet. But still, like I can grow with a guy, put something around him, give him some coaching, and still have him for three or four years on the cheap. So this draft to me is really right. one of them drafts that like I promise y'all, once this draft is over with and all the chips are falling, the free agency will clean up fast. Right. Well, I feel like I don't know how much you would actually have to pay White because of all the injuries. And I yeah, bet, or I don't think he's gonna be on a crazy deal. But I feel like the Lions, like we just like uh, earlier today, uh, what uh, Cam Sutton, he's wanted for like domestic battery or whatever. I think he was still there, corner or whatever. So, mm-hmm. how, hey, how Howard would be a good fit for the Lions. They they need corners. Like they have they have Brian Banch for safety and all that, but they they need some corner help. So I, so yeah, Trey White or. Howard, I think that would fit for the Lions. That would be a needle mover because that was their biggest flaw. But yeah, I agree with early. Once this this is a crazy, crazy draft. <laughs> like they, this could be a, a generational draft, like maybe top five in the decade. Uh, but for sure. Yeah, we'll, well have to see. Go ahead. I feel what like guys. Saying, yeah. I feel like guys like Jadavian, like the way he always he always seems like he's like an add on. Like we wait for the chips to be, and then we'll give him like eight million dollars to come for one year. That's I think that's how his career is just going to end up from now on. Mercenary. He's not going to get so. And I also think OBJ, for instance, I think he's winning because he sees the amount of receivers in the draft as well. And then he's sitting there like, all right, let me like early said, let me see where everything was. And then I still think I'd be like, hey, Patrick Mahomes, what are we talking about here? Or am I going to go back to play with Lamar? I, he, 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 there are a few people where it feels like they could wait. Like if I'm the Lions for real. I, obviously, you want to figure out what's going on with with Cameron Sutton, but I would be talking to a few. the The one place you truly need help is your secondary, and obviously, you get somebody in the draft. But I still think a vet, a really a vet, would really help them. You know so, who else I was thinking about has a player has a team sign. Uh, random. Did you know as a team sign Isaiah Rogers? Not that I have seen, oh, but I can I look real quick. I can look. Because he, uh, he um he's coming off a, a gambling suspension, but I'm gonna be honest, Isaiah Rogers could. Easily help, help a team out, yeah, for sure. Yeah, facts. If that needs a corner, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, he got spent for the whole year, yeah, he missed the season, yeah, he's, he's still unsigned. Damn, okay, Damn. keep going, Randy. My bad, I didn't mean to cut you. I just want to ask you. Uh, so because I'm look. I think the biggest one for me is if I'm the Lions, I understand, uh, Xavier Howard and Tredavious White, I'd go get a, a proven vet to help my secondary out in Stefan. I think he could really help them. Somebody who's who, who knows how to get how to get over the hump because he's won he's won the championship. He just knows what it takes to win. And that Lions team is on the cusp where next year we're going to be expecting a lot. Especially, I'm going to be seeing. We'll, I expect uh, J Rod to be like saying a lot of Jared Edge next season pissing off. The <laughs> so I think having somebody like that on your defense to help solidify and also somebody who can push um, Dan Campbell's message. Because I think he's just a vet at this point, man. He, he's he's somebody that could help your young a young secondary, especially with expecting to be picking corners. I think he could really help them instead. Um, since right. he's he's the number one guy that I see. Obviously, uh, Justin Blackman, Tyler Boyd. I'm I'm a little surprised, but he just he felt like maybe he, would, could could you see him going back to Cincinnati with T Higgins leaving? I mean, if he want a bag, that's the problem. Like, do he want a bag bag? <laughs> like, if he want like thirty million dollars, and you got to think Tyler Boyd probably looking at. That Calvin really contract, like, come on, man, no way. But is he like, but he, and it's but, not, and it's, and I'm just, and I'm not saying like Calvin. You got to think like, 
Calvin really get a 92 million on the season. Calvin, I don't Calvin, think Calvin, really? he got 92 million. No, I don't think he's worth more. But what I'm saying is you could look at somebody's contract and be like, maybe I'm not worth that. But if he's willing, to, if they're willing to give him that, then I could definitely get. Especially off a year suspension. Maybe I'm playing OBJ you know before I become the boy. Oh yeah, oh, oh, for sure. But look at but look at OBJ. But look at OBJ's production oh. this year. Obviously, his production wasn't his fault completely. He's a bit of the system. He got hurt to start the season. But, but he's I'm, starting to pick up. I'm telling you, he's, he's picking City. early. Early, oh. he's picking where he's going at this point. He's not. He's he's trying to he's trying to win. So he's yeah. he's in this weird he thing where. He's 1,200 yards easily. Yo, Kim Kardashian and Ty- and Taylor Swift in the same bo- in the same yeah. box. Yeah, don't have people with each other though. But those Super Bowl tickets gonna be a billion. A billion. <laughs> Shit, I'm telling you, for sure, literally. I mean, bro, that's how it. That's literally how it be. All it takes is a quarterback that's productive. Again, if OBJ goes to a 49ers, and you go get him for the cheap. I'm listen, Debo. I was not the bro. In the Super Bowl, Debo really showed he came around rounds, dog. And he is not a receiver. Outside receiver, dog. I'm I'm so off on Debo. It don't make no sense. No, uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, not in, I'm not, oh, wait, wait, wait. My bad. Isaiah, Isaiah Rogers is on the Eagles. Eagles. Jay Rogers. Oh, he's on the Eagles. He's on the Eagles. Isaiah Rogers on the Eagles. He's on the Eagles. Oh, I like that. That's, that's a no, great. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's Isaiah that's Rogers is nice. If you know, you know. You're not paying Isaiah Rogers a redemption year. He's coming off a suspension. You think he's taking a big contract? This bro, is Saquon. You picked up. Bro, they got everybody. Dog. It's great GM yeah, work. Lie, this, team, this is great GM work. They signed them. They signed them in August. I'm reading. They signed them in August. Early the minimum deal. Early, I feel what you're saying about Debo. I'm not going to say that he came across as that he just faced one of the best in the game. Jimmy Duffy's one of the best in the game. He had a number two, though. Fact. But like, but that but here's my thing, though, Trent. When you in the Super Bowl, dog, and Jennings get all better than you do? Here's the thing, though. Oh, you bring up Debo. Oh, oh, Dale got locked up by the same exact person in the conference championship. So, like. It's like they also. They also <laughs> locked up Tyreek. Like, like, Tyreek. So, it's like. It's not like he was the only one that got locked up. He literally was. He literally was getting locked up by LeJarrius Sneed. Yeah, yeah, Jarrison and Duffy people. went stupid, bro. They well, were. They it, don't crazy guy, come on, it's real, right? it don't help that the guy. We all know the guy ain't a great, ain't a great, ain't a great outside receiver. Come on, guys. Like, come on, come on now. No, no, I'm but saying, but you talking about Odell? Like, they locked up Tyree. Odell is my. They locked up Stephon. If I got, but if I got a Brock Purdy, I need legit two legit receivers, y'all. Here's a. But I'm saying though, you're talking about Debo getting locked up. That same thing happened to Odell in the in another game. So like, and also too. Odell is he get injured? This ain't 2016. Though. I hear you, but Odell got other than Super Bowl. Oh, and, and, and when the Super Bowl started, Odell got busy in the playoffs. Busy when he played for the Rams. Every it's, game he got busy. Again, and he was gonna be Super Bowl like, MVP if he didn't wait, get hurt. Super Bowl. Saying, he's oh, injured, and he's like, how many years older now? We're in 2024. We're about to be next season. We're gonna be in 2025. Like right. Odell's injuries, age. He ain't the same, bro. Like, but if you the Chiefs, if you're the Chiefs. Other than you like waiting to see what they're gonna do with Justin Jefferson, if you can get an Odell, why would you not keep it? Because I'd rather I'd rather draft I'd rather get, I'd rather get receivers in the draft that are young. Rather, that aren't like, like what they did with Hollywood. Hollywood take a pay cut. I'd rather sign uh, sign I, Hollywood. I do like Hollywood. I do like Hollywood. I say sign Hollywood and then yeah, bro. I can't like Odell's my god. I wish he would stay healthy. Yeah, get like a, a like get or an AD. I think he's saying a lot of soldiers say he might go to Kansas City. Yeah, I, AD Mitchell is looking like a first round pick, man. Lock, locked and loaded. I'm letting y'all know now. Do not Ooh, be surprised. No, like, Thomas been signed. I like him a lot. AD Mitchell, that. man. AD a Mitchell is a stud, man. I'm telling you. People, people fall in love with the 40 you. yards and like how his teammate Worthy had like a 4.28, but like he had like a 4.37. I'm sorry, a 4.2 what? Uh, Worthy, well, he ran a 4.21. Oh, 421. Yeah, he ran the fastest uh, 40 yeah, in the yeah, history. Yeah, he, he ran a 4 But AD ran like a 4 3, like a what, 4 4 3 6? Yeah, 4 3. He's 40, yeah. pounds, he's actually good receiver, he's 40 pounds heavier than him. That's way more impressive to me. Like, you're 40 pounds heavier than this dude, and you're still running like a 4 3. No, yeah, that's a that's right. I can't wait for the draft. Being a legit deep hey, looking like, I want Sean Jackson get off the one. It's looking like early about to give me 100 because it looks like Brock Barrows might be a jet for real. Oh my God, I'm so down. Because he might be a jet. I bet, they won't, I bet they won't get him. Yo, I'm going to be honest, bro. I, I, I'll Mike say this, though. I will say this, though. I'm going to be honest, though. But I'm going to be honest, though, Trent. My only thing is I think Brock Bowers might not make it to us because I think he's going to – I think he might be going to – um. The Chargers. I think he's going to the Chargers, bro. Just so I'm and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why he's a he's. I think for what Jim Harbaugh is and what Jim Harbaugh tries to do, 
it's a better, it's a more of a schematic fit for Jim Harbaugh to take a Brock Bowers because he's going to use Brock Bowers in the run game and in the pass game. Not only that, listen, I know we don't like Quinn Johnson and stuff, but this is a wide receiver yeah. heavy draft. You get Brock Bowers, yeah, you can cool. get one of the, you can get one of these wide these veteran wide receivers in free agency, and then you could draft another good wide receiver in the second yeah. round, second third well, round. They, just like a right, guys. Like a they don't have no receivers. They might go get a Malik Neighbors or something like that. Like, yeah, even, okay, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if you know Jim Harbaugh, everybody knows. I think everybody here agrees that Jim Harbaugh is going to want to establish a real run game. That's why they bring in Greg Roman. I think the reality of it is we say Brock, we compare Brock Bowers as a tight end. I don't think he's as good as a prospect as Kyle Pitts, but some people think he was that level of prospect, generational prospect at the position. So and then and then also too, I think like, it's a match, it's a fit for the team. Yeah, it is a fit because also too, like since, better, since, high, like, since, like, like, since high school, Jim Harbaugh has won in Brock Bowers. So I think this could be the opportunity where yeah, he can get him. And also, like we yeah. said, this draft is crazy. You can get a good ass receiver in the second. Like, and also, too, we might not, we not, we might not like Quentin Johnson, but they drafted him the first round. You're not about to just get rid of an investment like that after year. Yeah, one. bro, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna it's double down on your investment. Josh Rosen. Situation. Also, he's not gonna be wide receiver one. They they got Palmer. Palmer was nice last year. So, but this this could I'm be sorry, a situation what? though. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna get too. No, nah, I'm, 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 I'm looking at like no, nah, but if I'm looking I'm at another receiver to bring in, I would bring in a veteran wide receiver. Like, why wouldn't you try to go? Why wouldn't you try to go get like why wouldn't the Chargers try to go get Odell or Tyler Boyd? Well, why would you not keep Keenan Allen then? Well, they wanted him to take a pay cut. Keenan Allen said Keenan Allen came off his best seat. He said he's not taking it. Yeah, they wanted him to take a pay cut because he's got one check left. So I understand that he can't he can't afford it. Yeah, the way how he's last big check. I'm Shit, just saying they go get it. They only saying, have two receivers right now. They be right. They only have two they, receivers on their roster. Yeah, we. Yeah, right it's just, yeah. I didn't know Mike Williams was almost thirty. Yeah, Mike Williams has been in the league for seven years. Yeah, he's he got like nothing. 17. But I'm oh, not gonna lie. Now that we got Mike Williams, my question to y'all is, um, <laughs> uh, how how are the Jets Super Bowl chances looking after the acquisition of Tyron Smith and the acquisition of? See, or my boy, and don't be, and don't be nasty. Do not. Know, let me go first. Let me go first, Trey. Hold on, hold on, Trey. Let me go first, please. Please. Go ahead, go ahead, Randall. Go ahead, Randall. Go ahead, let me go first. All right. First things first. First things first. Obviously, I'm not even trying to play about this, but there's a lot of smoke around Aaron Rodgers right now. I think it, this is a wholeheartedly a power play by him by throwing the even letting that presidential vice VP thing out there. I think it's, oh, he, he wasn't happy. But my thing is right now we got to see how he comes off the Achilles, right? And it's not like, right? I want to say in, in in the back of my mind, I want to say they should win their division. I want to say that, but I am not confident enough. And I want to see how he comes off the. I think their Super Bowl chances are as good. Like they're they're, let's see if, if the Chiefs and I think the Chiefs are number one. The Raider uh, was it the Ravens, the the Bengals if Joe Burrow is healthy, and I think they're in like the third tier. You, I think I have to see it first. Third tier, huh? Third tier. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Third tier. I, I'm the only reason. My my, my biggest thing. I fully say healthy. Is our team. roster is third tier. That's crazy. I know. I'm not. Oh, well, fully healthy. Then they're in the second tier. But I need to see fully how A Rod comes off the Achilles. <laughs> is Mike Williams going to stay healthy? What we have all these I will, questions. Yeah, I will say the major concerns. Like fully yeah, healthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I major concerns, that. of course, because Tyron Smith be um um hurt. Mike Williams be hurt. But again. If this stays healthy, because Garrett Wilson and Mike Williams can complement each other, crazy. Like Garrett crazy. Wilson, Garrett Wilson can literally run. And, and God the forbid, and Mike God Williams. Forbid Mike, we get Mike, Rome or we get a Romo Dunze or exactly. something at, and, and at then, number and, ten. And what's his name? Mike Williams. He's the, Mike Williams. He's the definition of a bailout. You can just throw that shit to him. He gonna go get it, right, bro? And you have Brees Hall there with a top ten defense. You know what I would really love? I would really love for somebody to trade up to go get. One of them quarterbacks, so they could have JJ. I would love for JJ McCarthy to be like this. I would love JJ McCarthy to be like the fourth pick of the draft because if JJ McCarthy goes up higher in the draft because the team so up, it would, it would shake up the draft order, and I might be sitting at number ten doing my. <laughs> I might be at 10 like, like this. Malik Davis become a Jet? Good God. Uh, am I? Because he, he would be really doing himself. hella slot work. He would be the he would be a top three slot receiver out the That's gate. Just because are my concerns about your because team the receiver would, would be crazy. Are my with, with Aaron Rodgers and a full healthy season, the Jets are the best team in the AFC. But 
If you go get a, I, I'm line, not betting against Mahomes anymore. That's crazy. I'm not betting line. against Mahomes that anymore. Everything else. I'm not bidding against Mahomes anymore. He can no, I would love to win the Super Bowl, but I want to win the Super Bowl so bad. I want to feel that from myself. What if he so and, and what what if he actually takes this seriously and, and this VP thing takes it seriously? Yo, come on, please. Why would why would he let it leak? Why would he let it leak, J. Yo, I'm I'm gonna tell you why I don't want to get into this because I know how he's not make J. Rod go viral again, please. Nah, nah, nah. Because I know how random going to do me. He's how random going to do me. I'm gonna give y'all the whole play. Right? We're gonna be we're gonna be at next. It's gonna be the end of next year. We're going to be in the football season, and then Jesse may lose back-to-back games, right? Random. I told y'all he think about this vice presidency, and nah, that's, that's how they lose the football games. Exactly. And then that's what I'm going to By the end of the season, the, the shit's done. The he's shit's done like, by the end of the season. He's like, he's thinking about that presidency and all of that. No, but, like, oh, but by the end God. of the season, the, the, the race is done. If he's still yeah, thinking about it, that's tough. You lost. We all, we all know all right. country, third parties don't win. So, But not... why, why? my problem is, why would you even – let that get out because it don't matter it's aaron Rodgers. why would why would he tell us that he's doing a darkness retreat why would we tell like ayahuasca so what happens when what happens when the guy chooses him to be i want to try some ayahuasca nothing no you don't you don't want that (laughs) (laughs) you know how many vowels are in that in that word you don't don't want that no i don't know in that word that thing sound that just sound dangerous yeah i don't want no ayahuasca but you know it's from mother earth so it might be it is, it is, it is a Once Aaron Rodgers started it. doing that stuff, he ain't bit the same. I, I, yeah, Rod, I'm rocking with Aaron Rodgers. Y'all got to let You got to. He's, gotta, your, he, he's your man. But if, Rod, if we're being 100% be honest, I need to see how Aaron looks off the Achilles. But if Because if you guys are fully healthy, then you got, I agree with early. You guys are top five. I'm not going to say they're the top best five. team in the league. They're the best FC team. Nah, we're top. I'm we're, not going to say really that. Y'all like an old lineman and a two away from literally running the table. Let's, let's be honest. Let's Run be honest table about is the, crazy. Come let's on, be honest bro. about the Jets. So they they have arguably the best defense. Mean. They have they have Doss. They have Quinnen. They have they have like they they're stacked on defense. Their main problem. Be the Chiefs. Their main problem was, a, was a, their main problem was a quarterback who they're getting they where they're getting back even off a of torn Achilles. He's gonna be loads tiers better than Zach with Zach Wilson. Even if he's stationary, even if he can't move in the facts, pocket, he's still better than Zach. Facts, facts. So Garrett Wilson actually has someone to throw him the ball. Brees Hall we got Tyrod right on the bench. Brees Hall is going to be going off. He's not going to have to like sh- he not the game at one point. Beginning have to try to share carries with with Cook. So it's going to be mainly Brees Hall. If they get an O line in the first or second round, that's going to show it up. If I don't believe I don't believe Tyrod right? because every year I look at Tyrod, he's hurt. <laughs> Hey Dave, I love it, bro. I love it for y'all. I love it for y'all. Yeah. So <laughs> then they got Mike Williams. So it's like low key, all they need is another receiver. They can probably get in this third, fourth round, a O lineman, and and they straight and they straight and they a top three team in the in the AFC. J. Ron, y'all are the best team in the AFC. But if something happened and the Kansas City Chiefs straight for Justin Jefferson, I am out when you niggas. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> No, but my thing is, you can be the best team and still lose. You don't want you don't want Patrick Mahomes better, better, better than the game. game and still lose to Mahomes. That's what we listen. We not listen. I just want y'all to know, like the Jets, we're Ravens prime. It's our it's our time, bro. Lost, so it's it's our time. Yeah, but I ain't gonna lie. We are gonna have the best defense in football next year, bro. Y'all know that, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got the best year. defense in football. We got the best defense in football with an offense now. Hey, the league. Yeah, is I really doing... had it last year. I just gave up towards the end of the season. I got tired of that. As long as, yeah, fact. Because I ain't gonna lie, it, that that shit will deflate you. Yeah, yeah. that shit will deflate you, bro. You, you really yeah, you you start playing elite defense for four quarters and you can't get a stop. You can't even get a breather because it's three and out after three and out after three and out. And then you gotta watch this kid punt it to the stands every time. You but now we got a too. squad. Damn, we got. It's starting to give up. Damn, he, he so got Helen moment. Keller as your QB. You ain't winning games. Bro. I don't even think TJ right. Watt got hurt. I think TJ was just tapping out because he didn't want to play more the season. He like, man, I ain't gonna waste my body. We ain't going nowhere. Nah, real shit. So let me ask y'all a question. Did y'all hear about this story? Shout out to Tegan because he's the one who took me down this rabbit hole. So there's this kid, Tyler Proctor, elite. Left tackle, we played at Alabama. Nick oh. Saban leaves. He was originally committed to Iowa. He's from Iowa. Listen to this. Listen to this story early. So he commits to Iowa. He commits to Iowa. Decommits to go to Alabama. He rolls Alabama. They they lose in the playoffs. Nick Saban says he's leaving. After he says he's leaving, 
He decom he leaves to go to the portal, heads to um Iowa. Apparently, what there's a recruiting violation or something like that, or there was a tampering. So he's re-enrolling back at at Alabama. What was the mind violation? You, mind you, mind you, mind you. He was still getting what's the name? He had got NIL deals from Iowa, so he was getting bread from Iowa too. And yes. He didn't, and they they he came he didn't even do spring practice yet because spring ball just started. He well, he's, done, and he's going back to Alabama. He has to re-enroll at Alabama. What was the violation? I don't you know. know. Probably tampering. Probably recruiting. Yeah, they said he used to spring break with um with, like someone um his old Alabama teammates, and then literally the next week he's right. He has to enroll. He's enrolling back at Alabama. Uh, so yeah. I know this is like breaking NFL news. They're officially going to be voting on banning hip drop tackle and new kickoff rules. You can't. Why are you making it so hard for the defense to do their job? Um. That shit lame. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. The hip drop tackle is not a purposeful tackle. You feel me? Like it's that's the a penalty tackle. will be fifteen yards. Yeah, I'm not sure, but to go back to the yeah, Canadian yeah, yeah. situation where that shit. I'm that's down to change the kickoff rules though. That front, unless you've been a front line soldier on kickoff return before, I'm all for that shit changing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that shit is. You know, that I'm telling you, if you've been on that front line to kick off a turn, you know, bro. Kick off return, so it's so blah. Yeah, nah, but kick like, over turn is the hardest thing in football, bro. I don't know how to feel about this though, J. Rob. Like this, that's a weird ass situation with this kid in practice, shit, bro. It's kind of to give the money back. Hell no, you're not giving that. Nah, because the thing is, you got to remember once you sign the once you sign um once you sign you you they pretty much you stuck like you know what I'm saying like they can't. They can't take the money back once you sign for the, the NIL deal. Like that's why well, everybody talking about that kid from LSU. You know what I'm saying? Because he got all that NIL money and didn't even play that year. That that kind of reminds me of the Jane Wilder situation where he was in Nashville. He would get recruited by Penny to go play for Penny in high school. Penny stopped coaching Memphis College. He wanted him to come. He like, well, if I'm gonna be here for this long, I need my mom to come. Penny Hardaway literally helps buy his mom a crib so that way she can be close to her son because all he asked for was his mom. They say that's right. a violation. They kick him out of they they kick him out of school basically. Can't play no mm -hmm. more. And the next year NLL comes out. And if he had that the year before, he could have paid for his own mom's apartment. Right. Like, Facts. That ass. Yeah. Facts. That's sure. Yeah, that's just no what lies just, told. No lies told. You know, they told. said it's a new word about it. They, they literally have to pass a rural college to where with the NLL deal, they put a cap on it. Cause they said it's getting outrageous. Yeah, well, so that, they, that, that, that was my question. Like, damn, bro. Bro. As somebody who really wanted these kids to get paid, because I do still believe on it, and I still believe they had a right to get paid. I'm not even finna. I'm not switching my stance on that. But they by the cap now. But do, yeah, but do you do you feel like we yeah? Do you feel like we kind of let go of the rope too early? Like it just started, and we already see that it's clearly a a wildfire. This is what happens when you don't plan for it. When you don't have a solid plan at all, and you just let it be the Wild West. Somebody and was always going to take it too the, far. It's the, it's the non humbleness. Like you got to think about this, dog. Think about this. You're a coaching. You're on the coach. Like like like, like Trump. Your father's on the coaching staff, dog. Imagine you on the coaching staff. You coach a college team. You pull in the driveway to go to practice, and you watch a 19 year old pull up in a goddamn wraith beside you, dog. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Walking the pro like, like that is something that we all like that bothers people. Early, right? the Ole Miss like quarterback has a private jet and all that. What? Not, bro. Yes, he has a private jet and I do. Yeah, the, yeah, the Ole Miss damn. quarterback. I don't even know who he is. I, I'm not Jackson Dart. Jackson Dart. Jackson Dart. Oh, Dart. Hey, good work yeah. for him getting that for real. But yeah, the thing right? right? <laughs> hey, you get when you, hey, you get when you, <laughs> what you negotiate for real. Private jet is crazy. But the last name quarterback. You can't tell him shit. You That's can't tell my last name. But things though, bro, I'm yeah, that, really go, that name gets you paid alone, bro. I'm, things though, I'm not really mad of players buying less than a luxury things when they get that brand because they was watching coaches it. do that for years. You're 21 before. years old saying that. As a nigga who's been coaching for 15 years, I'm 45 years old. I've been coaching since I was 30. I pull up yeah. and I'm watching this kid basically look at me like, and you know how I'll, society is. Early, if you, early. If you how's broke, that no different? If you from, broke from, me, you can't tell me nothing. Early, how's that no different from if you from some dude? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Early, hold on. Early, 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 early J. Rob, right, everybody, how's that no different than watching somebody who's been working for uh, for twenty years? They they forty five and they're watching Mr. Beast just give money away, bro. That's just how life worked. It's unfair. Yeah. That's I mean, just how it works. Hold on, hold on, because even with that, they just made Mr. Beast give up his rest. Like, no, when you, I'm gonna tell you something. Like, when you are in this in society, right? If I'm a meat meal and I sit and I sit across from the judge and the judge makes hundred and four thousand dollars, 
I spent $140,000 on this bus down the other day. That literally will make them do, like we watched the thing that happened with Chad Johnson a couple years ago. He's in court. He gives his uh, his lawyer a smack on the ass. The judge literally he gets in trouble for that. Like though, when you're walking around and you're making a certain amount of money, we live in a society where they already feel like when athletes are just athletes, like you get to pay me dollars to put a ball in a hoop or throw a ball. They already don't like that, dog. Now you look at a guy who's 18, 19 years old. You're a coach trying to coach this guy. I don't want to hear enough of you talk about because not only do I have the NIL deal, I got transport, I got the portals. So if I don't like you, I can just leave next year, dog. Then you should have found a system. The reason you let it get this way, you had plenty of time. The NCAA had plenty of time to figure out a system before it eventually got here. When you're get, when you're when you're when you're taking people's like when you're cutting out playing time or, or suspending kids games for getting tattoos or for sleeping on the couch like that this is this is how we got here because you didn't want to do it also now you're forced to open it you didn't have a plan and this is how it gets and also well, well, hold up, this is how we got we got here because of, seen, of negligence I'm that's how we got I'm here i'm just telling you how they're thinking dog you guys yeah. are walking around you guys are getting mad at me because you fucked up like dog, you're getting as much. You're getting more than all the coaching staff. Dog. Like, and, and the guy and the guy earned that because of his play, and he also he was able to negotiate that from somebody. Like, How you gonna like, get mad like, because I was smart enough to get the private jet and you couldn't? Yeah, because like my thing is though, bro. Like I see what you're saying early, but like, like for example, like Jalen Hyatt when he won the Blending Call last year or two years ago now, he got the Hyatt Hotel NIL. That shit's fired, but he earned that. Like I'm not gonna be mad at somebody. They young, but they really doing what they gotta do. And they getting crazy in IL deals because know, God forbid. Because here's my thing, no early, early. Here's my thing, no right before I let you go. God forbid this um like the NIL shit. This wasn't like in the early 2010s. We talk about players now. It's like Johnny Manziel. Damn, Johnny Manziel, Manziel, Manziel built that goddamn stadium at, at the He built it and got his goddamn self. Right. And he could he could even sign like, autographs and he got suspended for it. I feel like it's a multi layered problem because I feel like. If the portal didn't exist, but NIL existed, it would be different. Or if the portal existed and NIL didn't exist, it would be exactly. different. Thank I you. feel like it's a combination of both. So what they could do is they're like, hey, if you if you get this amount of NIL money, you can't you have, have, to stay, you have to stay here for X amount of years. Oh hell yeah. no, hell. Yeah. hell, yeah. hell saying, no. But that's the but Trent, that's, that's the no, 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 how no, they no, would no, try no. to regulate it. I'm saying how. No, I'm saying, like, Trent, how Trent, what happens? We're basically trying to put a college salary cap, and that's what's going to happen. Is we make it like really did. Why do we want to put a cap on everything? Which what happened is guys like Nick Saban are going to keep like, like that really scared them. Like they're like as much as you love your favorite player, players come and go in college. People like Nick Saban, that that's a that's a legacy. That's a dynasty. Guys in that bill, guys like him. You know how hard it's going to find the next Nick Saban now with the NIL deal and transfer portal. I think that that's, that's how the game has evolved. Guys like Nick Saban, like I'm I'm not, not, I don't want to hear from Saban when he got his agent to negotiate a contract with Alabama. Whenever he's not the highest paid, he makes like a hundred thousand dollars more than the highest paid person. He, he gets automatic pay increase. He did that. He negotiated that from Alabama. And that's a I'm not going to hear that. Not a guy who's going to be here for a year or two and get him out of here. Well, here's who cares? Let's figure out a way. Figure out a way. It's your job. You're the coach. Figure out a way to keep him. Oh, yeah, figure so, out a way to go recruit more players. Like, that's what you signed like, up for. Kalani said, bro, like I'm not going to hold you. Saying like basically putting like contracts and shit in college. That's like, what, how like. The, well, colleges are hiring gyms now. Like, that's I'm not. It, I'm not I, I am not penalizing. Like the, I'm not going to penalize the kid because the college like was not smart enough to mine their money. Contracts. I'm not penalizing the kids for that. That's yeah, that, that, that's my biggest I problem with it. Why y'all getting mad because you didn't do your due diligence before you started giving these kids all this money? That's where. That's my biggest problem with it. I get your theme, kid, dog, but you got to understand again when we're looking at a situation where a guy is coming to play for me for a year or two, right? Versus a coach who's going to be here for 20 years, okay? Now, we're looking at a coaching. Now, here's the thing. You might have a Shador Sanders who's walking around with Rolex or a dog who has a private jet. But now you have a coaching staff of players, of adults, who are complaining about it. I'm not saying it's okay to complain, but now, you saying that, random. but I know you've been somewhere where a guy comes around who doesn't have as much experience as you, and he's getting more money than you, and you're sitting there like, hold up, dog, I didn't put in this work. How does guy come in here getting now? He got all the benefits. That happens in society, random. I don't give a damn. I understand, that. I understand that. Rise, or you work for UPS, or you work for a major corporate company. When you are putting in a certain amount of time and a number that comes in and reaps benefits that you don't reap, and you've been there a short a longer time, that is a problem in society. We I understand yeah. that, but I'm not. And you and you're gonna be pissed about it. Like I am going. I am going all the time. 
but but I'm not blaming my job. My, my okay, but then my my first instinct is not to freaking try to cap how much money that guy's go, trying to make. That's that's my bit. Why are you trying to? Because you opened this door. You opened it. You didn't pl you didn't plan for it. It got blown wide open. And then I am not gonna try and turn not, turn on the kids right now, because they were they they, they were smart to enough to to they were smart enough to hire the right people. Maybe their parents did, or somebody got in their ear and said, "This is what you can actually get." And they were smart enough to negotiate for it. Maybe that does that mean that the future of co of coaches' contracts need to change how they negotiate? Maybe, but you got to figure out. This is how it happens. I'm not going. I, I need you guys to figure out a way to evolve. Nick Saban got out because he just couldn't, and the fact that he was on Capitol Hill telling telling uh the telling Congress that they can't be employees when you've been Nick Saban himself has been benefiting off these kids' mm -hmm. backs mm -hmm. for years. But they're not. The and and, and now you got out right when it was getting a little too hard for you because, okay, like right, Bama yeah. said, you didn't like the, the third string guy from Maryland saying he needs $50,000 or whatever the hell, or else he's going to leave. Okay, you don't like that, then figure out a way to do it or let him go and go get no, another one. I, Maybe I, find I, somebody else. Maybe find another right, running back who doesn't want that kind of money. For that type of stuff. Like, I feel like because in the future we're going to see it because I think they're already doing it with like some of the tournaments and basketball stuff like that where like every player on the team gets a certain amount of money if they like advance to tournaments and stuff like that. So yeah. if they start doing that more, like, Oh, if you sign if you sign with Alabama, every every game you guys win, everyone on the team gets like a thousand dollars or like two whatever X amount of money. If that happens, you're gonna see you're gonna see people stay more because like, hey, if I stay on this team, I'm making like eighty k a year. The, you're gonna see the backup stay more. You're gonna see the guys Brandon, who don't play stay more. The Brandon, the, the stars will still move around. You're speaking as if the actual school pays them the money. What no, happens I, I is if 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 J. Ron comes to my school. He's the top corner of the nation, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not paying him. Pepsi is saying, "Hey, J. Ron, I have <laughs> nine million for you, dog. I can't. Right. Put, I don't. I don't. I don't have Pepsi money. I can't I put you Pepsi money. Yeah, no, but if they could get like boosters and like sponsors, they might sponsors. even tell you shit. We'll sign you to Pepsi because the the C one of the CEOs went to Stanford. You go to Stanford, we'll sign you to Pepsi. You go to school here. So then, it, so then now it's a college's job to find somebody who can match that Pepsi offer. Yeah, like if Gatorade, if Gatorade like spawn, it's, 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 it's how the game is being played right now, early. That's the that's that's what the job that's what the job is right now, early. That's what the job is. Also, if 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 you got the fourth string corner saying you need to find something for him, maybe like look, we just not gonna get nothing for you, and I'm sorry, and he's gone, and you can just go get somebody else who doesn't care about that. There's millions of kids. But, so, but, so, so, random, random. At 19, 18 years old, you needed seven million dollars. No, the, but what I'm not gonna, do if somebody offered it for me, I'm not going to say no. At 19 years old, hey, you don't got. If hey, somebody go offer to me, I'm not going to say no. Why, 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 why would I? No, even Bill Gates not saying no to seven million dollars. What are we talking Bill about? Bill Gates had a build a company and wasn't a billionaire till he was in his late 30s. Those kids built their insane. brand by. But those kids, it's those kids built their company by being great on the field the early. I agree. Those I agree. kids I built their brands and their companies by being great on the field. I'm not gonna hold you. I was like, I agree with random. They built. I say they built their names by being great on the field. The That's college. why they're getting the deals. They're not giving. They weren't. Nobody when I came out of high school, nobody was giving me a seven million dollar nil deal because I wasn't good enough. My company wasn't good enough. They were giving Trent that because he was good enough. That's why, like, bro, like their companies themselves amounts of money. Like, does it matter early? One million dollars, and he'll be fine. But when you're, no, why would I take one million when somebody of offered me money. seven early? No <laughs> now, for real, why would not early? It's real, no, bullshit. why would I take one million when somebody's really offering me seven plus more? Like, if Xerox like, offer no, it, Trent, Trent, Xerox comes up to you, hey, you want your sign? I can't offer you that. I can't okay, so have the people who can offer you that. So now it's because of getting more. Oh, where do I go? Because who got the most money? Wait, here's my thing, though. Know, here's my thing, though. Know, you know, early. Why are we trying to put a cap on the amount of money a kid's making when these boosters and these universities be making all the money because of the athletes? Like, I why are we still making the most money? Saying, why are we putting a cap on that? We all, all the money that gets generated. Man, I ain't gonna lie. The majority is I'm giving y'all the other early. Let me ask you this, though. So, people are I want niggas to get paid. That's all. Me, me, Mr. Mr. Uh, Entrepreneur, Mr. 1099. I'm sorry, I don't have a 95. I had a 95 in a very long time. I like getting paid. I like getting to the bag. I like not working for a boss. 
So let's get something clear about me on here. I'm one of the few people on here who actually don't want to go to a job. Yeah, facts. So I agree. agree. I, 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 I agree, like agree, that agree, I agree with you. you is that I'm giving you perspective of the teams, the organizations, the schools. They're looking at it like, dog. If, if I'm a Nick Saban, this is how he looked at it. And again, I think he's a sucker for leaving. But I'm looking at it like this. For years and years, my actual cachet, my resume, me being able to go into your home and convince your son that I didn't show the legacy, I can show you previous guy I put in the league, that was something that I had over you that I actually had to build. Nowadays, I can just walk in and say, dog, I'm going to get you the bag, and that's it. Now they're going to that school. That's okay. Not hold on, hold on, hold on, though. Hold on, though, early. This is my thing. Nick Saban still has all that cachet and all that because kids are not going to say, oh, kids are not going to at least not take – you act like kids are still not going to talk to Nick Saban. He just has to bring the bag with him. And maybe Nick Saban's like, look, I'll give – maybe Nick Saban could be like, I'll give you a little less, but I'll also – I am your best shot to make it to the league too. He still has right. that cachet. But, but you see what I'm saying? You're not hearing me though, right? So right now I hear you, right? The whole thing of getting to the league was how you get the bag. I'm going to put you in the best position to get to the bag. Right, but in order to do that, you had to play for me for you for two years, and then you can get your bag. Yeah, that's crazy to me. Let's right be now. honest; it ain't that no more. You don't have to play for me, random. If you are a mom, I got a mom you, but Jr., it, it, some, if some, you're a Marvin some, Harrison Jr. and you're a Shador Sanders, you'll get five million. Right? Let's think about this. Say Shador Sanders get hurt. No, watch it, watch it, watch it. Say he gets hurt and not plays in the film. He still made five million dollars. I can live my life for the rest of my life. Never play for NFL team and still be a okay, mother. Okay, okay, but look, but the, property, the kids, so but look, look, but the kids who take okay, if if, if, if I'm gonna use J Rob again, for a all, like, if, if, the, if, the, if the person from Pepsi offers offers J Rob seven million dollars to go to Stanford, but Nick Saban comes in, hey J Rob, I got five million for you, but you come to Alabama, okay? If J Rob takes the seven million, Stanford, it, which. Be, uh, J. Rob, which is the better path going to Alabama to the NFL? Which is the better path to the NFL going to you're Alabama, going to Stanford? A 19 year old, yeah, you, but I ain't gonna lie, you're asking me about you, you asked me, hold on, hold on, but this, this, this is what I'm trying to say. This is what I'm trying to say. This is what I'm trying to say. If, if J. Rob takes the money, I'm gonna just work it out. Hold on, 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 let me say, let me say what I'm trying to say. If J. Rob takes the money, it's his decision to take the money, and it's harder for him to get to the league. It is a little harder for him to get to the league. No, it's not. No, it's not. Yes, no, it's, it's not. not. No, it's not. Okay. I still, if you if I'm still able to perform. Yeah, if I'm still able to perform, anything. I'm going to get in. Yeah, I'm going to be fine. Yeah. And I ain't going to lie. Stanford is a school that – Stanford, Stanford, so I don't say Stanford is a school that – Andrew Luck did just yeah. fine. Yeah, I'm going to be fine. Please stop it. Yeah, if I could play, if I'm nice and I could play, they'll find me, bro. It ain't that me going to Stanford what is Khalil, not my chance going to the NFL, quick, what bro. Did Khalil Mack, then he played for like a D2 school and he still went like top okay, five. Khalil Mack went to Buffalo. He went to Buffalo. He went to okay, Buffalo. Here for you know, if you can play, you can play. Exactly. It doesn't matter. In the words of T.O., if you can play, they'll find you. And, and, yeah, and, 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 and I'm going to be honest. If I'm, if I, and I'm going to be honest, Random, let's be honest. If somebody... If somebody says I'm worth a nine million dollar nil, then I, nine nine million dollar nil, then I must be good. God damn it, I, I must you. be good. My, my only thing was it uh, maybe because you're in Stanford and all that early. This is what I'm trying to say. If you a kid takes the money, less? no, I'm not. Well, or maybe because I use exact number. If a kid ends up taking the money, takes the money, I'm not gonna get. That's his choice. But if he does it, if he goes to a harder situation, that was also his choice to go to the harder situation because of the money. That's all I was trying to say. I, maybe using Stanford and Alabama was just bad using exact yeah, things. But I'm saying if you take the money and go to the hardest situation, I don't want I don't want to put in a worker situation school wise, as long as I have somebody who's gonna put up more money. And that's why they want to cap it. Because now you look at a situation where the I'm gonna get more money. You was making the most money. You don't get to see you was making Jay the most money Alabama. anyway. You were making the most money. Buffalo. Find a way to get more money. Find a way to get more money. Stop bailing, stop bailing the corporation out. Because one employee was balling and got a better job. You're not offer. putting the factors of the child. So, like, if if my mom is making like 40k a year, and someone's offering me nine million compared to five million, I'm going with the nine million because I'm. That, you know, and I'm I and I'm and I'm not saying that's not a bad thing. If I'm eating PB and J's my whole life, and they're in Colorado is offering me ten million dollars, and Alabama's only offering me five. I'm sorry, I'm okay, going to Colorado. Colorado, but I'm, I'm not time blaming time the time kid. Time. Can I ask a question though? Can I ask a question? I'm not blaming the kid for taking the money. Can I ask a question? Go ahead. What if you have a better what if you have a better route to have your own success taking the five million here 
instead of doing that to, money. You chasing have to that. weigh those options. Because as, now as you fall. Vic- this, this is what I try to tell folks. That's what I'm saying. Kids. It's about the perspective of the kid. This is why I have to tell these kids right now. This is why I say it. It, it takes a lot because sometimes kids got to realize all money ain't good money. Mm-hmm. And this person dangling this little steak over your head, right? It could be a trap hole up under there with spikes in it. Literally. All because they dangling that little nine million. Oh, bro, you poor, you poor. First off, I'm gonna go ahead and run this story by y'all. Stop doing that shit. Like everybody black and all these kids poor. They not. All of them don't come from the lifestyle. Some of them do. Doing, do the ones that do come from that lifestyle, Travis and them, they already are setting themselves up to go get that money on when it's all said and done. You feel me? They not playing this game. Oh, I'm gonna go over here, then I'm gonna transfer over here. That transfer and shit, that's some privileged kid shit. If I don't get my way over here, I'm gonna go over there. And now this NIL shit just gave him the leverage to be like, oh, well, they just offer more money. No, nah, nigga, you running from that grind. Now, this nigga's scared. That's what it really mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. And yeah, then you sound, Caden you sound Proctor. As always, like the oldest nigga in with the club. Caden Proctor, oh, with Caden Caden Proctor. Caden Proctor. Work forward and get that I'm going to tell y'all you right now. Crazy, you just dog. see it right now. I don't care about the yeah. you, my nigga. You see it right now with Caden Proctor. Nine million. You see it right now with Caden Proctor. He made the best choice. He made the best choice for himself. Nick Saban, Nick Saban leaves. Nick Saban leaves. He makes the best choice. It was comfortable. Come to find out, I was talking to him while he was still playing for Alabama. Weirdo. That's probably why we don't win. When you got half foot in, half foot out. Then, <laughs> now guess what? Full yeah. circle. You got to go back to Alabama. The school where you just had to leave. Because, oh, I got a better opportunity somewhere. They going to pay me more money. But Nick Saban left, though. That's what he Saban could say. Left. That's what he's going to say. Saban left, Saban left. You know, hold on, hold on. You know Saban leaving left a huge impact on Kenan Parker leaving, bro. No, why, did, why, did, why, did, why did Malik Benson leave? Why and, did Malik and also, Benson too, he was, well, well, I can, I can, I can he was even starter. say why the other superstars stayed. He was y'all why starter. Why Jam them boys? Why Jam Millen them boys stayed? They were stars. stars. Okay, because some people. Fair, getting, getting the you know, Washington head coach to be the new head coach also some help. Like I say, Caleb Downs. Went to another school. He's I'm a bum. Crazy. We don't want to see him. You he's not a bum. He's not a bum. He's a bum. I swear to you, yo, you was just but while, but why would he why would he be running from the ground? We all know he'd be a starter again. He was the he's best saying, player right, in your defense. Saying, the day, what 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 because this is what I was saying. What was so oh, bad about Nick Saban? Like, it's still Alabama. Is Alabama? But some people, change? Could, but did didn't, but didn't, did hold on. But didn't Travis? But what did they but come in and say? Hey, man, Travis since Hunter, Nick Saban gone. You finna make? But you finna make Travis, less money since on, Nick Saban? On, Bamba. Bamba. But Ben, but didn't Travis Hunter go out of his way to say when you commit to a school, you commit to a coach? And so some people commit to Nick Saban, and some people don't want to probably be in a building where Nick Saban is now a figurehead. Instead of the head coach, you know, yeah, like also t- some people know. don't want to see him sporadically. They want to see him oh, every day. You know, you like that matters. You know that matters. If you got a coach who don't fuck with you, like I watched like, Carmelo Anthony literally say, like, dog, George Cole like people, not forget. Him, people forget. People forget. It wasn't just. And it wasn't just. The reason why he left Denver, dog. It wasn't like, just Shadour and um. You, he Steve Kerr you. You become Steph Curry. Right, and also too, you got to think. Even with Dion, it wasn't just Shadour and um. Travis that left to Colorado with him. Xavier Weaver came. Um, uh, Jimmy Hoare came from somewhere else. I'm just, I know they didn't come from Jackson State. They didn't come from. I know they didn't come from Jack State, but I'm saying they all committed to Dion. Like they followed him. They didn't. And I'm just, and obviously, too, Dion's a crazy example, but and also, and that's also just too, you know. Also if Dion were to just quit today, answer your question, Bama. My when like when Travis Hunter said that, oh, you commit to a coach to a school. My dad told me the opposite because coaches come and go. So some people stayed. Some of those play, players, like Mill Road and them guys, they stayed because of Alabama, maybe. And then some left because of Simon. That's just, that's just the game of recruiting. We not gonna say, we not gonna say your starting tackle left because he didn't want to from the grind. He running from the grind. Oh, yeah, he and, ran from the grind. and the thing it's is, too, Trent, tackle, and Trent, Trent, you know, he was, Trent, the he other was, thing too hey, about the ass. Listen, listen. One he's thing he's I would tell y'all about the starter, Parker, I've never heard he gave up damn near the most sacks in the country. I've never we heard just that. just based off Nick Saban, who he is. I've never heard of starter leaving because they're running from the grind. He's a starter, not a bench player, a starter. Ran from the grind. Hey, even even our starting guard, even even our starting guard, even our starting guard, 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 guard who told you a bad bro, he even said the same shit. He said that's he said that was probably one big reason why they didn't win because a lot of them boys that transferred for no reason, but they literally just transferred. They was one seven point. They was. Literally lost by seven to the national champions, bro. With the same team, there was nobody leaving. But no longer, nobody leaving. But five star running backs 
Wait, back to back to back. Like, no, y'all would literally have a running back who could be one of the best running back in the nation starting sitting behind another nigga, dog, just to play Alabama. That's why y'all start winning, dog, because y'all was able to stack the deck so yeah, bad. Yeah, so yeah, back yeah, up, back up. Yeah. Exactly. 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 At the end of the day, bro, at the end of the day, you still can only put 11 niggas on the field at one time. Regardless of whatever you're talking about stacking. And then even with all the stacking and not stacking, out of them still have like that is like you get four NFL receivers at one point on the field. And I'm getting a regular team, bro. That's unfair. Let's back up back up with a 90. Let's not act like what Early is saying. He's not spot on. There's literally there's a y'all literally had at one point Tua, Jalen Hurts, Matt and Mac Jones all in one group. Y'all literally had Devontae Smith. Henry Ruggs, Jalen Waddle, Jerry Jones. All the niggas started in the fail. Like that, like let's not let's not act you like you can do that for every team. team. You could literally do that. You for made every Derrick Henry a no, backup at one point. Oh, Alabama used to be stacked as a freshman. They don't care. Derrick Henry, what's my boy? Everybody gonna, gonna be a backup. Like I had Derrick Henry in the freshman. You gotta wait your. See, this is what I'm telling y'all, chat. You gotta wait your turn. It's crazy. Why would I wait my turn? Just is some entitled ass shit. But wait, your turn thing is over because now you don't have to wait your turn and you can get paid. Gary Harry sitting there, sitting on the bench at one time. Yeah, nigga, earn your grits. What the fuck? Okay, okay, I got you, right? Ain't no fucking entitlement out here. That's what you did in high school. He's one of the greatest high school players ever. Okay, so Bama, I got a question for you. Stop running from the grind. Derrick Henry okay. didn't run from the grind, nigga. Okay, let me, okay, you come on, come on. He didn't have a choice, Bama. He didn't have a choice. He didn't have a choice, Bama. He didn't have a choice, Bama. You see what don't run from the grind, 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 you from the grind, you see what don't run 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 from the grind, you all these right, new niggas high. running from the grind. They scared. Okay, this nigga's running from crazy. the grind. Okay, time out. Okay, time out. Time out. Time out. This is how you know this guy's coming out. Wait, time out. Time out. Even, out leave it leave it because you want. Grind, leave it because you want new opportunities. Running from the grind. Hold on, hold on. I got you early. They will put you in a locker, man. Early, I got you early. I got you. Early. I got you. Hold on. Number one, niggas was made from grinding. Wait, time out. Time out. Time out. Number one, hold on. Number one, number one. Wait, time out. Time out. I was made from the grind, nigga. Bro, this nigga is happy. Okay, so number one, number one, believe. Even to get because you want to have new opportunity to be the guy in the office. What new opportunity? Not running from the rock. Let me give you a perfect example. Let me give you a perfect example. I'm gonna give you a perfect example, Bama. I'm gonna give you a perfect example. I'm gonna give you a perfect example. I'm gonna give you a perfect example. Back in 2000, we, when I had Brandon Jacobs on the VIP room, he came into a running back room with Ronnie Brown and Cadillac Williams. Back in the day, everybody know how cold they was. And he was yeah, the first Cadillac man. Cadillac. He, he even, though he was, and even though Brandon Jakes was still eating on Auburn, he felt like his senior year, he needed to go be the guy in the offense. He's not running from the grind. They just already had their star that the guys already there that you know they're going to get the ball. Nigga, Cadillac Williams almost got nominated for a Heisman. Ronnie Brown, that shows a crazy duo. That's not running Damn, from the grind. Damn, no, man. Just sit behind Tebo, nigga. Somebody, running from the grind. Yeah, just sit behind Tebo. I know that last time. That's what that's what him heard him being the most, in the so. same grade with them. That's way more justifiable than what early talking about. Derrick Henry came in as a freshman behind TJ Yeldon and them. And that's a freshman. He should have been starting. Turn, nigga. He should have been what starting as a freshman. Nigga. Early talking about, 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 about that was just because I'm the best in high school. That's not your development, bro. Because I feel like I'm the best, right? You should put me in front of you, even if I'm a freshman. Oh, just me, I'm me so Joe Burrow should just stay Ohio State. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, good, but this is what I'm saying. Bama is yapping because again, if Al Camaro would have left, never left Alabama, we probably don't even know who Al Camaro is. Him leaving to go to Tennessee he was left, the best but, opportunity for him. He left it because you're not listening. You what listening mean? to respond. You're not listening to comprehend. Bro, saying run up Alvin Kamara was the same class. He was in the same class as TJ Yeldon and all of them boys. Okay, so yes, fine. it is very is beneficial. You in the same, bro. I don't think y'all even know. Hard. I don't think, bro. It was Al T. Tempenny, R.I.P. It was Al T. Tempenny, Kamara. Yeah, bro. It was so all of them boys were like in the same class, bro. So of course, my nigga, if it's five running backs, bro, and all five of us legit are NFL running backs, bro, and we all in the same grade, oh, right? Yes, I'm a deal. I'm not finna well, sit not, here and put on my exactly. middle. Hey, Rob, if we both in the same grade, I'm not finna pray on your downfall, bro. You you doing your work, so I'm finna go over here. But if I'm a freshman, J. Rob, and you a junior, bro, I'm gonna sit back. I'm gonna learn from J. Rob. I'm gonna be humble. 
But I'm still going to do my thing. You better than him. You better than him. If I think I'm better than him. Can I just say? Can I? All right. So this is this is my response to what Bama is saying. I think that mindset worked while me and him was in college because our transfer rule, you have to sit a year. If you want to stay 1A, you have to sit a year. Now with this free transfer, Bama, I feel like that mentality shifted OD with these new niggas because, yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. Like, I agree. Sometimes you want to get buried on the depth chart. Like, you can be good enough. Like, for example, Joe Burrow was dumb nice. Dwayne Haskins was also dumb nice. Let's not forget, Dwayne Haskins threw for 50 touchdown passes. But Joe Burrow, to his credit, though, he sat till he graduated, had a free year to transfer, and then was able to play for two seasons. So, like, people can't come at him on the same level because he was able to thug it out. Now, I, I do see both sides of it because I do think some people are delusional about themselves and don't want to wait to grow because Leonard right. Fournette said it. Leonard I mean, Fournette said like early. Leonard Fournette said, I wanted to, I wanted to dip. After my freshman year, because I'm watching other people around the country go crazy. I'm watching Nick Chubb snap over in Georgia and all these other players, and I almost wanted to transfer. So I see both sides, especially if you're an upscale player. But also, I am going to push back on this. Is the only point I will push back on, Bama, is I don't think a high school will comprehend the difference between getting a one million versus getting five million. They're going to see five million is bigger than one you- million coming out of high school, I personally think. And I don't think every family is poor, but I do think your family dynamic matters because I'm going to say this. Uh, a family that's like like my mom, I know my mom would not have got lost by who was giving me the most money in this era. She would have looked at what was best interest for me. But I'm going to say this. I know my homie's parents, they're telling their son, you're going here because they're going to give you this more money. I don't really care about what the logistics are. And so that doesn't really always have to do with the the the, the infrastructure of the household. Now, I think that more, if you're poor, grow up poor, that more matters. But like, it's a reason why, for example, Arch Man is going to be number 16 on NCAA. Because what is $600 to Arch Manning and the things that he knows about business, what he's learned, you know, so. I think there is a bit of a spectrum for it when it comes to the, the money part of it. I'm going to give you a prime example. When I was in high school, my junior year, Bernard Hargrove, the corner played for Florida, played for the Bucks, right? Mm-hmm. Came in as a, as, as a JV freshman. We, look, little dude coming in. His first JV game, he went crazy. We did the coach like, the next week he was a starting corner on varsity, had seven picks that year, and his father took him to Florida. Like, when you that, you that, bro. I'm not going to come nowhere, and I'm better than you, Bama, and I'm going to wait behind you because you're the older statesman. We saw Dez Bryant come in the league and Terrell Williams. I'm not holding no bags, nigga. I'm the franchise over here. And in a year, you won't be here. And guess what? In a year, Dez was the guy, and Roy, we ain't seen Roy Williams since. So I'm not going to come nowhere and no boy me no more. Brandon Hargreaves. Yeah, how good you are. Scrub at school in D.C., him level that's not the same. In it was high school, your DC whole crew. team God is not going to go to college. Alabama. Your whole yeah. team is not going to go to college. It would be different. What I'm trying to explain to you early, for instance, what you be I'm talking about, you, right? I'm better than you. Does anybody that think like was better than Derrick Henry, dog? That is like I'm seeing really somebody. That is like seeing somebody like I'm Drake and Patrick, right? And you a freshman, and you like, oh, bro, I'm supposed to play in front of him. He's balling right now. I don't give a fuck if you think you're better than him down the road in five or ten years. Right now, he's one of the best DBs in college. So sit your little ass down, learn something, and then when it's your time, capitalize on your opportunity. I got you. Even if the dude is, I play you in practice. He do have the accolades to be, even if he do have the accolades to be in that spot, right? Even if he do have the accolades to be in that spot, your mentality will still say, "I'm going to transfer because I still feel like even though he has the accolades to be in that spot, I'm better than him, so I should play in front of him. So I'm just going to run from the grind." And go over here since they said I was running from the ground when I want to play. Bama, Bama, here's how I should do it. If I actually play in a game, ain't no way. Let me ask you this. 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 Let me ask you couch coaches this. Let me ask you couch coaches this. When you get drafted on draft night, do they ask you if you played your freshman year or not? Do they give? Do the niggas in the draft even give a fuck about niggas who played their freshman? Year? Joe Burrow played his last two years of college, nigga. Fuck y'all talking about, nigga. Y'all sound dumb, nigga. Yeah, Playing your freshman year, you got shit, got nigga. Do anything. Now yeah, I ain't gonna lie, and I ain't gonna lie. Early, you use early, you use Cam, you use Cam Newton as an ex, you use Cam Newton as an example. Now, if I'm a, if Cam Newton was a winner, make some money. 
Now, if I'm in a position to make some money sophomore, junior, senior year, nigga, and y'all play on my time, nigga, you fucking right. Bounce, nigga, because you're trying to make some money, nigga. But if I'm a freshman, man, I ain't finna sit over there with that entitlement-ass white boy shit, nigga. Hey, wait, but Nate, sit but there and be a man and learn something, though. nigga. Wait, tell me, tell me, tell me. shit. That's some rich shit. So, give me some examples. That's a title. Not credit in there, my bitch. Put your young ass down and learn something, nigga. Can we get some young ass down and learn something, nigga? Hey, little nigga, I know you older, but you a little nigga. I always think y'all the best things in the y'all shit got seeds in it, nigga. Wait, but shit got seeds in it. So, man, can you give me some examples? That shit, bro. You give me examples? Y'all was behind that shit, bro. Because people Wait, run around up, kissing their ass up. all day, nigga. Bama, you ain't Bama, the best shit, okay? It's real Bama, dogs out here. It's niggas example. that really wake up in darkness out here. It's niggas that really can't eat. They got to go to practice, nigga. And I feel them niggas right there. That's so why what do you say to the freshman nigga that can't eat that one really that struggling that for the money? Niggas that's really struggling for the money ain't fucking the type, nigga. You see that motherfucker white phone coming out of the The niggas that's hungry, bro. I know it. I see it. I see it, bro. I Wait, see tomorrow. I see the nigga that's every day of practice. You run your route versus bro. me, and I'm a freshman. They have a that's different trash. level of intensity, bro. That shit trash. They really don't. trash for real. I, I could tell niggas that had silver spoons in their mouth, nigga. They say little entitled shit like that, nigga. That shit is entitlement, nigga. If I'm a okay, freshman, so I'm you can't screw me. I'm a freshman. Me. If I'm a freshman, I'm a and this junior. And this junior right here has shown the reason why he's a junior. Because we talking about squads like Alabama and Ohio State. These teams is not finna do no fucking irresponsible shit and put a nigga in a spot that don't really deserve to be there. Like, they not finna do nothing irresponsible like that. Oh, so this you is mean the like best start on the nigga. Like, start Jalen Milrow? So, I'm finna, hey, I'm hey, finna see right now, bro, why is he right hey, now? I'm finna try to hey, learn something from him. And when my opportunity comes to be able to okay, take so his wait, spot, I'm bro, out, bro, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I'm gonna do it if, if, if hey, I'm really like that. Bama, hold on. Would you say that Jamison Williams is your time, he had to leave. They didn't play him. Okay. They didn't play him. Hey, so here's my thing, Bama. Well, hold on, hold on. Wait, oh, he about, waited about. till his junior season. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, hold on. this is wait. You're missing this. Hold up. Hold up. Let me finish, bro. Let me finish. Let me finish. If he would have ran, if he would have left as a freshman, that's running from the ground. That nigga sat. He sat as long as he could. Let me finish. Did he not, J. Rob? You the Ohio State fan. That nigga like, sat as long as he could, nigga. Yo, here's and my he wait, wait, here's thing. Though, right? I'll be honest, though. We oh. really wasn't rocking with Jamal at Ohio State, Fuck unfortunately. Here. That nigga didn't hey, but hold on, hold on. But here's my point, though, right? He, he, he went for this. This, this started, started going. Come on, come on. This started. Hold on, hold on. This started from Caden Proctor, your starting player from Alabama, leaving to go to Iowa. You said running from the guard. The nigga yeah. started his whole you freshman. Started he started as a freshman. He started. He was starting as a freshman. Running from the guard. And you gave up the most sack in the country. What you leaving to go to Iowa for? What you leaving to go somewhere Maybe. else? Maybe. Iowa produced one of the best llamas. Maybe he want to go over there. What you saying? That's crazy. That's crazy? That's crazy? That's true, from, though. He's from, hold on. He's from Iowa. They produce hella linemen. Why would you not go over if there? he was from Iowa, why he just didn't sign there in the first place? Then? <laughs> oh, he, he tried to. Bro, what you mean? I thought he wasn't heavily recruited from Iowa at the time. And it's That's hard to he... say no to Bama. It's hard to say no say to Bama. Thank you. Wait, Nick Shit, Saban? Said no one said the left, nigga. How Nick, you... nigga, Nick Saban is gone. What you at? Hold on, come on. You act like Nick Saban ain't Alabama. Nick Saban is Bama, though. Nick Saban is Alabama. Nick Saban is Alabama. That's why I said that. Oh, man, nigga. Stop, stop, stop. Y'all need to tell me Nick Saban isn't an Alabama. It's an Alabama. It's just like The reason why Kaden Proctor is in Alabama. The reason why Kaden Proctor and likely, the reason why Kaden Proctor and most likely 85 fucking percent of recruits want to go play for Alabama because who's their fucking head coach who's won how many national championships? How many times? Nick damn Saban. So when he retires, that's going to have a huge effect. Nick Saban is literally Alabama. When you think of Alabama, you think of Nick Saban. What are you talking about? That's your daddy, nigga. Again, Roll time. At the end of the day, a coach gets you to come there, but the environment and the culture of the school gets you to stay. Oh, okay. so, oh, oh, oh. If you oh, 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 I got something right now. Hold on, early. Hold on, I got something right now. Something right now. If Deion Sanders leaves Colorado right now, all right, a lot of people are not leaving Colorado. Nigga, they committed to Deion Sanders, bro. Hey, what the Deion fuck? Sanders and what do you think they commit for Alabama for? What you think they commit for Alabama for? What you think they commit for Alabama for? What you think they commit for Alabama for, guys? They commit to Alabama for Nick Saban. What are you talking about? Because you have a brain. These niggas that never played, bro. Because this is why I say you can't keep playing. You just took yourself. 
You, you cannot, just eat this you yourself. Eat Netflix at all. You talking about <laughs> Nick Saban that has finally built a culture in one spot in 15 years. You comparing him to a nigga that is basically a... a, a your mic cut off because you were talking serious. You were saying bullshit. What are you saying? Whoever Deion else in the back in year one, Deion Sanders in year one has already built a culture for what they're trying to do. You don't want to pay for Deion Sanders. He's in the Hall of Famer. What are you saying? What is he? Random. He literally just said, oh, because Deion Sanders is the best corner in the nation, and he goes to a team, and he's going to be the best cornerback. He want to start his freshman year. There's a reason why. Hey, yeah, there's a reason why the other half right. of the head of gang is looking down right now. Threat, threat. Look at Jaron. There's a reason why he's looking down right now. Look at him. There's a reason why he's looking down and rubbing the back of his neck. I want to start now. Hold on, hold on. Come on. There's a reason why. There's a reason why, man. Listen, this is what I try to tell you, niggas. You niggas for the main nigga. Your problem out there. Hey, the head of is looking down this right now, man. Hey, Rob, you can't really out nah, think a nigga that he think like this. First of all, y'all trying to compare Nick Saban, who took he basically in a in a decade, he's built a standard of coach in one spot. Like they got different other shit at Alabama that's set up. I've been waiting to ask. Let the nigga that played the game talk okay. right now, nigga. Hold up, I'm finna have my dialogue for these niggas that want to learn something right now. You, you talking about a coach? Right you you what game you did you play, nigga? What what Alabama is like? Y'all just see this shit from a from a face that's value. Like he for that's a factory to you where, hey, bro, Alabama. if them dudes want to come back and they need a job, they could come coach. It's other shit that they can do, bro. You talking? You trying to compare what Nick Saban has built at the as the culture of Alabama? We're talking about the coaches. Dion, up, Dion Chris, literally up, is somebody, oh, oh, he's a up, figurehead that's moving from place to place. So he has no foundation to really be like, hey, bro, this place right here, if he would have stayed at Jackson State. Dion for one year. Hold on, hold on, early, early, hold on, 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 Bam, bam, oh, I got a question. Please, I got, I got, I got, I got please go ahead and fucking cook this badass logic. Please go ahead. Yeah, please so, go so, because like you brought up the whole, you brought up the whole Derrick Henry thing. But like, and, a, and so I, I, I agree with your situation from back then. Back then, I agree like how he needed, he needed. Said uh, you out of touch. I'm saying in the situation now with the NIL. So say like a Derrick Henry type player from was like offered to go like to Alabama, LSU, but they're like, hey, you're gonna have to sit. NIL, we can only give you like maybe a hundred thousand, yada yada yada. Or he could go to a secondary like big school, like a Notre Dame or a Kentucky, something like that. They're like, hey, you're starting, and, it's and be that everything. We're starting. That we're gonna give you like five. Oh, we're gonna give you like five mil to start. Is that hey, running from the grind? Hey kids, hey kids, did you know why Derrick Henry didn't start his freshman year though? And what he found out the hard way, and it was through trial and error. And if he didn't, if he just ran from the grind and went somewhere else, he wouldn't be the Derrick Henry today. <laughs> Derrick Henry had a very hard problem with running behind his football pass, staying low. He used to get his chest plate blown out a lot by everybody in practice, everything. That's what kept him. Then he had a real bad fumbling problem on top of that. If he would have did what Early said right there, if he would have did what Early said and just ran somewhere else, you could fix he wouldn't have perfected himself. They would have fixed that. Thing. Thing. Hey, school. Like, you can fix that at any school. You can fix that at any school. Also, he would have more He would have more reps. He would have more reps. He have more reps. Hold on. I got one question for you, Bama. Bama, I got one question for you. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Trent, Early, hold on. Hold on. So you said that it Nick Saban built a culture over 15 years, right? So this culture that now brings people in, where you where, where I my biggest thing is that you're saying that Nick Saban is not Alabama. Everything that Alabama is now is because of Nick Saban. Everything that Alabama is now is because of him. That's why my biggest problem with you is is saying that he's not that, even though now that he left. It's still him, cause Kay, what's the what's the new coach's name? I can't remember his name. So you saying he making excuses? It sounds like you making excuses right now. The 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 the, 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 the oh, Bama Bama Bama, Bama. Hold on, the landscape has changed. The landscape has changed. Nobody, no freshman 
it, no really good freshman is going to stay in that situation anymore. You can call it running from the grind all you want. It's just going to another opportunity. If I'm Bama, if if you get a job, you you get, but then you get a That's job, and, the and then within like the first month, somebody offers you an even better job, you're going there. Especially if you think the person in front of you, your supervisor, is not as good. You're going to go to the new opportunity, especially if they, if they can still fix the problems with how you work at that new place. I'd Derrick rather Henry's, start, I'd rather Derrick start Henry's probably going to start with you. I'm going to get fixed by a cop. Because this is what's going to happen with these kids, right? These is immature little children, right? If I'm going somewhere where they're critiquing me on, hey, this is why you're not playing, right? And I go yeah. run somewhere that's going to play me. That's the decision that other they... school. That other school did not highlight the reason why I'm not playing, right? So when I go transfer over there, they're just going to be happy. To, Tulane is just going to be happy to get it there, Henry. They're, they're not really going to tell them, like, hey, they're bro, not just going to learn how to run lower. No, they would not be doing their job. And it's just let's bring up the points. Let's bring up the points he brought up for Derrick Henry. Hey guys, he literally said the reason why Derrick Henry was not playing because a fumbling problem and he was tackling too high. He was Two running. Things he was running that in high. practice and working on in college football, they work on that shit every day. So yeah. even if Derrick Henry transferred to well, another school, if he went to Tulane, Tulane, he fixed it. Hey, he he man, 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 Running Caleb from the Dallas is running from the Yeah, you're running from the grind is bad. Also, too, yeah, also, too. Yeah, also, yeah, also, yeah, you got Keon Sob. You're cool. You're running from the grind is bad. Look at guys. Hey, come on. Hey, 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 Get in there. And I say, no, nah, hey, hold on. 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 Oh, poverty, they just want a natty. Poverty. You know why they left? You know why Keon Sab left? Poverty. Nigga. You know why Keon Sab left? Because Jim Hallward's not that's there a, anymore. That's an easy glow up. That's an easy glow up. Your whole, bro, I'm not gonna lie. You just eat your, you, you just eat your whole point. If you're talking about Caleb Downs running from the ground, so did Keon Sab. He just left the school that just won national well, championship. Hundreds of Because their head coach just left. So what are you talking? You let's not act like co coaches in college football have a way a hold. Yeah, uh, listen, so hold a lot of weight for players. Why do you think that he left? Coaches for college foot. Coaches for college football hold a lot of players for hold a lot of weight in college football players' decisions or where they want to go. So let's not act like that's not a huge thing. You talking about oh Nick Saban, this Nick, this nigga is the definition of Alabama. At He's the, the end definition of, the day, of it. I was not running, running, running here. here. If they not running, 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 have you seen Nick Saban? Is he Nick Saban? Have you seen his track record? Nick Saban? That's a great coach. Is he Nick Saban? Nick Saban is Nick Saban is the greatest coach of all time. Early or Bama? He's the greatest coach of all time. He's a D three, bro. He has he's only lost like twelve games in his whole coaching career. What's your time? He's one of the one with the one from the Rocky. I give y'all every day. What y'all talking about? I give y'all every day. He's a great coach. Why he didn't keep Caleb Downs? Why he could? Why couldn't he keep him? He's the best player. That's what Caleb. That's what Caleb and his daddy wanted to do, my nigga. Can I give y'all every day? That's what they wanted to do. Can I give y'all every day example? They ran from the grind. If you watch this every day example, right? If you go to the barber shop, right? And you have a barber who you normally go to. He nice with his shit, right? You will wait behind two or three niggas because your barber is that nice. Yep, but if you right. got a barber in that same barber shop who's just as nice as your barber, I am not waiting for my barber. I'd rather not wait an hour to get my hair cut. I'm going to get my hair cut by the other nigga because he cuts like my barber. But Nick Saban is a barber in a sense. I don't wait behind a nigga for Nick Saban because he's that great of a coach. I'm not waiting for every nigga, dog. Let's be real. If I go, yeah. if I can go somewhere else that's just as nice, get the same coaching and get paid to do it, I'm gonna go there. That's not running from the grind. Running from the grind is actually not playing, nigga. If I'm playing early, I'm not better coaching than Caleb. Did Isaiah? Oh, oh, Iowa, Iowa produces wait, great wait, linemen all the time. Wait, if you're a lineman, hey, you want to go to Iowa. Wait, come on. Wait, hey, J. Rob, he's saying Isaiah Bond ran from the grind. Ran from the grind. Oh, he no starting receiver, the most productive receiver on the team, ran from the grind. That boy knew Ryan was coming. That boy, that boy knew Gatling gun was coming, man. That boy knew that boy Ryan was coming, boy. Watch here, boy. Watch how he turn up with niggas from the state, boy.
We, we, not we, yeah, you hey, just, get all them little out of towners up out of there, man. They ran from the grind, nigga. They don't know what it is to wear that, wear them numbers on the side oh, of the hill. It's all good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, you just yapping and crashing and being biased. And when we win the national yeah. championship next year, I'm gonna come back and tell Put you. Put money on that. Put money on that. Put money on that. I'm not saying that. I already know what to do. Hit me in my chill. I already know what to do. Hit me in my chill. Hit that 100. I bet that. Hit that 100. You better put a hell of a nigga. Shake the 100. Nigga, my money blue. Nigga, don't talk to me crazy. Nigga, hit me up in my telegram. You niggas know what First time all, it is. Bama, Bama, Bama. <laughs> what you talking you about? Nigga? Y'all win the 90 next Benjamin year? Benjamin Franklin was a Capricorn just you like me, team, nigga. I'm trying to talk about it. Me and Frank was a Capricorn just like me. They were just like, yeah. Blue, nigga, sad in the world. I love Bama. I love Bama. My shit got blue you balls. Got that nigga on your shirt plan for y'all next year. Hit me up in my shit. But I put money on all my shit, bro, when it come to Alabama. I don't just they do all this with a Jesus man. sweatshirt. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that Let me get that on here, chain, nigga. Watch the color turn different, nigga. That shit, yeah, blue, nigga. Them gold chains, nigga. Blue, nigga. That Ooh. shit, that shit, motherfucker. Blue, bro. I ain't gonna lie though. But so wait, wait, wait. So you think Jalen Milrow? You think Jalen Milrow is crazy? Watch it, blue. You think Jalen Milrow is a top dog? Running for the grind. Hey, he, he. I mean, he changed his throwing motion. He sensed that competition heating up. You know they bought that six six boy over there. From so Julian staying left, so he kind of got lucky with Julian staying. Yeah, he leaving. did get he did get lucky with Julian leaving, but they got that six six boy over there from uh from uh Washington. Julian might not, but Julian might not. I've been watching practice. I'm I'm so locked in with Aaron Alabama. Nolan, I watch they practice. Aaron Nolan might win that job still, but they say Aaron Nolan been looking hey, good. Hey, hey, J. ask the real question: If Jalen Miro come out next year draft, what quarterback is he? The fifteenth? The fuck out of here, dog. Nah, yeah, I like, like, like Jalen Miro. Like, no, I like Ty Smith. If he if he wow. if he steps up his ability to throw intermediate this top season, five. he'll be a top five prospect. Because he run for two. And you gotta think, and that gonna think, but the thing that he does well, and you gotta remember the thing that he does well. I, I you cannot lie about this oh, with, when it comes to you. He throw an accurate deep ball, bro. That works no, for me. You drop the top ten quarterbacks next year, dog. That nigga ain't even on the top ten. We talking about? Now you tripping? You tripping? You tripping? He, he was just up for the highs. Time out! Time out! Time out! Time out! Time out! Time out! He ain't better than Quinn Ewers. He ain't better than Shador. He ain't better than Jackson Dart. I'm not saying they better. You saying this? Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! But you acting like quarterbacks are all just projected strictly off their production. We've seen like Joe Burrow was not projected. Hey, time out! And also too, we all Josh Allen. We, talk, we, know, we all know man. one year can change everything. Before this right. year, Jaden Daniels was a day three guy, day two right. guy right. at best. Right. Like Jalen Joe Merrill Burrow. Uh, Jalen Joe Burrow could potentially Burrow. win Heisman this year if we keep it in the ball. Thank you, Mad Mac. And hey, y'all, y'all been y'all been dishonest. Jalen Merrill, you mean a lot, bro? One year can change everything. Yeah, he might not be what he is now. But again, in one year, he could be one of the and best. And this players. is why I say early. He didn't run from the ground, and we saw it. After this spring semester, he's changed his throwing motion. Literally. I'm watching practice. I don't know about you. I ain't just talking out my ass. I'm watching you practice. You talking about your ass. He's, he's talking literally. Your ass. ain't talking about your little ass, boy. He's literally changed his throwing motion. <laughs> Cause you you niggas want to run from the ground, nigga. Telling these little niggas a nigga can, hey, hey, but let's be real though. A nigga can play the game and still change the storm up. He ain't got to play. You can do that shit on the bench, dog. It's all about repetition and practice, dog. You can do that shit in practice. You ain't got to play the game. Yeah, but Bama, you think? But Bama, let me ask you this: You really think everybody running from the ground if they find? Kendrick Law had them niggas up at five but, a.m. But, 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 we up at 5 a.m. No coaches. And you saying we? You not up at 5 a.m. with them? Man, you go home and you cry every day because you know Nick Saban left y'all team, nigga. Man, That's real. Real. You go home and you cry every day because you miss Nick I remember, Saban, nigga. I remember you them Dennis Franchoni and, 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 and Mark Price, You're doing this for nigga. yourself. I remember you them days. Yourself, nigga. Nigga. I remember them days, nigga. I'm a real you know y'all nigga. Y'all Mike Dubos, nigga. You don't even know them. I've been listening to Eli Gold since he was on AM radio, 890, nigga. I'm a real Alabama country, nigga. We I ain't got you out of state, nigga. I spit on you. I spit on you out of state, niggas. Nigga, I'm a real Alabama <laughs> nigga. Redneck, boy. I bleed that crimson shit. I don't need no nigga that come up in there, boy. That, them coaches change, nigga. I fuck with Alabama, nigga. The, the, the school means something to me. Mama D up in there serving that food in the cafeteria, nigga. That's who I fuck with. I fuck with the school, nigga. Fuck you talking about, nigga. I'm a real Alabama <laughs> fan, nigga. 
I remember them Remember mics the days, days that lynched all of that shit. It's crazy. I'm not going to lie. 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 Yeah, like you it ain't ran, ass ran, ran from the grind, nigga. You don't know what running from the grind means. Ran from the grind. You you, I guess you don't. That's not the definition of running from the grind. Y'all believe in freshman, if I don't play right now. Running from the grind is not running from the grind. Running from the grind ain't waiting behind a nigga because you because he older, even though you better. What NFL coach, what NFL scout has literally said, have you played all four years in college? Well, you're not going to be a first-round draft pick. Who said that? Who, hold on. Who, who, but this who, is what I'm saying. Who, who said that? You sitting there saying, I won't sit behind somebody as a freshman. All because I'm so nobody said okay, okay, this, this is what early said. Said. all because I'm this ranking from high school, bro. Just because you feel like I'm in front of you and I, I don't deserve my spot, I'ma just go over here. Who gonna let me play as a freshman? Okay, so I got a question for you, right? I got a perfect That's question for you. I got a perfect question for you. Say Aaron Nolan, right? He comes in, he's balling, and Will Howard, he's playing. They got him from the transfer portal, but Will Howard. He not looking like Aaron Nolan is out outperform him. Spring break, I mean, spring break, sp spring ball, fall camp, gets the season. He's still the starter and he's playing in for that whole year. And Aaron Nolan sits. If Aaron Nolan transfers, is he running from the ground? Let me I tell you, Aaron Nolan going as a Aaron Nolan, Aaron, Let me yes, tell you what the job is. Yes. is. Bro, what? Bro, if that's he trans, 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 routine work again. Trent, labor is the no, Trent, Literally, you, you, you basically saying just because this dude playing mid that throws out the what? What if you was gonna start your host? What if the coaches just want to really see that whole year of this because this dude has been here so long? No, Will Howard I'm just got there. Jerry Howard just got there. Better better than than there. So, Trent, I'm playing tight end, right? Just, just walk with me. I'm the tight end in front of you. You the new four star freshman coming in, right? The coaches like at some, like to recruit this kid. It's like, hey, bro, you gotta build up the trust of a kid. So me, out of all the shit as a coach of what I told this kid, I can't just be like, hey, bro, shit. After this, just one game or whatever, bro. Shit, I'm just putting this new freshman in here. Like, nah, I really gotta see you fall flat on your face as, as a coach nah, because no. of, of the of the shit. Tripping, the, no. the, the, the shit no, no. the shit that He's got you at the tripping, school where bro. we at right now is the same shit they pitched to me. So they yes. have to see it through. Okay, yeah. but here's the thing, though. Here's, oh, so, yeah, but you were bad, too, nigga. What hey, you mean? Hey, but here's the issue. Yeah, but nigga, better than you coming along. You will take the last year. Here's the issue. You get the whole school year the next year. Here's the issue. Here's the issue. Here's the issue. If Aaron Nolan, you draft Aaron Nolan, Aaron Nolan is did, if Aaron, because Will Howard, just, they just got Will Howard. Will Howard hasn't been on Ohio State his whole career. They just got him here. If Aaron Nolan is outperforming this dude, and Will Howard is not um, performing the expectations, and they don't play Aaron Nolan the whole season, if I'm Aaron Nolan, well, I, don't have, I wouldn't be mad if he transferred. Or all of the example you brought up. Well, if I'm, if wait, I'm man, doing better than practice, if I run better routes to you, if I'm better balcony to you, if I got better hands to you, but well, you just older than me. Hey, yeah, I might feel some type of way about that because I know my, I know what I can do. If I go transfer and be that guy, then my development can start off crazy. I can get the ball rolling. But man, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Why, why, there's a reason why there's now. Wait, hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. This is my last point. There's a reason why there's more now true freshmen starting now the way it is back in the day because these true freshmen coming in are really like that. Really coming in. Really these niggas. Like that. Right now. I'm ready. Right now. I'm ready. Right now. Starting true. Caleb Downs. Perfect example. Came in Alabama, starting the best defensive player you can say even in the damn country. You didn't have any Man, watch this, so Trent. Prime example, Matt Flynn. Sometimes, sometimes you get to come into a position like that. Sometimes you have to wait. If Mark Bannon, Rob Lester was there, he would have been sitting his little ass down. Matt he would have sat down. Seattle oh. signed Matt Flynn for a two-year, twenty million dollar deal. They had every intention to make that nigga the starting quarterback for Seattle. They dragged mm. Russell Wilson, a third round draft pick. He was so right. nice in practice. We never heard from Matt Flynn again, dog. Because right. in the NFL, in the NFL, it stands for not for long, buddy. This is not college. So you in college, you can't well, your freshman college. year really well, don't mean much. Oh, so you in college, your draft, your draft start doesn't raise or lower based you off the goal post, Bama. Oh, God, you, you don't raise or lower based off your freshman year early. You move to okay, but it depends. It depends if you're playing great football off the rip. 
i.e., for example, perfect example, Derek Stingley. First year at LSU, starting. That's the reason why he went top three. Because them, ne them next two years, he got hurt. He didn't need it. Need one, you need one year, for real, to get you where you need to go. That's what happened with Derek Stingley. 2019, top three corner in the nation. After that, he didn't need to keep playing. He kept getting injuries, but he still got him as a top three overall NFL he draft. Back and he played that one last year, Trent. He wasn't that good. Bro, he was – bro, he, he, he was, was still good. good. year. He was still good. One year changes uh, your whole clock, period. In high school who as good as Caleb Williams, that nigga Jalen Milrow would sit on the bench, dog. I promise you, if you niggas could draft a, a one, number one recruit, quarterback out of out of high school, and he was that nice, dog, Again. Jalen Milrow would sit Again. on the it bench. It would be the dog. same situation with Tim Tebow and Cam Newton. If the dude that's in front of the phenom is not that's fucking it up and that's we still problem. winning, I'm not finna just wait, move off the air. Wait, 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 We're not talking about wait, 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 that's tough, nigga. He's the best in the nation. That's the difference. Cam Newton literally sat behind Tim Tebow, who was putting up records on records on records at Florida, winning natties, and he was a Heisman winner. That's totally different. But you want me to sit behind a nigga who had 10 tackles last year and started every game <laughs> just because it ain't I'm no a nigga like that on oh, Alabama man. roster, bro. It ain't no nigga like that on Alabama roster. You don't even play at Alabama having them type of stats, nigga. Come on, well, no, but and, then, and then why is you recruiting to a school that got a nigga that was Derrick Henry better than TJ, Bama? Niggas tripping, huh? Was Derrick Henry better than TJ? Fuck but no. Coming in a hot he, nigga, do y'all know how no, good TJ no, Hill was? Even even in the Derrick Henry well, early, even in the Derrick Henry situation that goes back to our point, TJ Yeldon in college was wilded. He was nice as hell. You that's fine. If you have somebody, if you're sitting behind somebody who is going getting 1,400 yards, you did like they're playing good ass college football. Okay, that's fine. That's not the issue. If I'm sitting behind somebody who, even though he's older than me, he might have got more reps than me, and I'm better than you, and I'm showing every day that I'm better than you. Yeah, that's an issue. Like you talk about Tim Tebow and Cam Newton, nigga. Tim Tebow's a Heisman winner. We know the legacy of Tim Tebow. Sure. And I said, like Cam Newton wouldn't got the we kids. We are in an age where home. kids are doing exactly what you're saying. They'll be on a Heisman example. Trophy winner, and Give me they'll go transfer somewhere. Else Give just me an example. Who? Oh. Just to play as a freshman. Who? Oh. Bro, but we, you just talked about, bro, listen here. Caleb and fucking that prop the nigga was both starting. It was no reason for them to leave. Literally. Wait, what reason was it for them to leave? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so how do you what know? What reason for it wasn't to leave, recruitment? though, besides how do, you, Saban, how do you not know Caleb Downs' recruitment was not heavily on Nick Saban? Because, again, like what Travis going to say, a lot of these kids, a lot of these kids in the recruitment world, they play for the coach. They go to the school for the coach. Coaching, coaches, when it comes to leaving, that shit matters. Look, look for example, I'm not going to hold you. If Tony Allard went to Michigan before um, Quinshawn Junction signed there, I guarantee you he'll be at Michigan right now. I guarantee you Quinshawn Junction will be at Michigan. Tony Alford leaving Ohio State to go to Michigan was a huge issue, was a huge problem. That's why you saw all of my Ohio State players tweeting and blocking dude, and they not fucking with it because he literally went to the rival school. And Saban I bet you Quinshawn Saban Saban went to Ohio is. State because of Tony Alford. If like, Saban was killing kids like, oh, I'm going to like recruit. Leaving, those are huge, bro. You know that. Ahead, huge, right? No, I was saying if Saban, if like Saban, like these, if these coaches, like when they're recruiting, they're saying like, "Hey, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like be training you like all three years, yada yada yada," and they leave after the first or second year. That's not what the kids signed up for. Exactly. That's not what the kids signed up for. Like, because you know that's you know that's like one of the main things that they be talking about, like, "Hey, I, hey, like this is this is what I this is like how it's gonna be when you're when you come over here. Right. Here's what I'm gonna be doing personally for you, yada yada yada." And now. They're not there anymore. So now, you like you little niggas know, you know they built Nick Saban an office on top of the fucking uh, field house, right? That, like he's just same, he just bro. doesn't coach. It's not the same. It's not he just the same. Coach, nigga. It's not, not the same. Bullshit. You no, know, it's not the same. Just well, I'm not just talking about office, like any coach. Any coach that said he like, ain't the head coach. coach Chip Kelly. Like day. when Chip Kelly left Oregon, a bunch of people were like, "Yo, I just committed to him a month ago, and he said that he's gonna see me through all three, four years that I'm here, and then he just left. Then he just left." That was a big problem with Chip Kelly. When coaches he was, have been he doing that for years, for decades. They've been leaving at the first chance they get a better job. 
Nick, so Jim, why are we Jim Harbaugh when he was first? Why are we punishing the, the kids for doing are, it basically there are, exactly? There are parents the same. are saying like, "Hey, he was just at my house last week, saying he's gonna see me through the for three years." Was, another man, example. Trying to leave Michigan. Look, Alabama's was, daddy, Nick Saban, was at LSU. Oh, I'll never leave LSU after when I'll never leave him. What he do? Who? Go to where he think had best opportunity. He went to the league. That shit ain't work out. He went back to college. Who? Right. Saban. He said he'll never leave LSU. That was came out of his words. That, that coaching shit is just way different. But oh, his how, coaching what? style didn't. Yo, 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 yo. His coaching style didn't work. His coaching style didn't work in the NFL, bro. I'm, say, I'm saying. He said he would never leave LSU. Coaching, and then he left LSU. Coach is leaving a school. Nigga, he said he wasn't finna lead the Dolphins either. And he took the job at Alabama. <laughs> out of here. What y'all talking about? He bro. said he was going to leave Michigan State. Nigga, are you comparing? Are you comparing? Are you admit he been Hey, hey, hey that's running from the ground, nigga. What are you talking about? That's running from the ground, nigga. He said that because what's he not leaving the team halfway through the season? What did he say to Wait, man, they kept the asking him. Remember when he was coaching for the Dolphins? They kept asking him, "Hey, your name keep coming up in the Alabama." He was like, "I have no intentions on coaching college football." But he's, he oh. was ass in the NFL, so that's, that's running different. from the grind. You know, you know, it, you know he's it. Up in the NFL. He's 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 he still said he wasn't leaving. Though. He's 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 still said he wasn't leaving. Okay, okay. There's a difference. There's a liar. Hey, Nick was a liar. That's the difference between. There's a difference between. Hey, Trent, right. watch this. Once the college became the NFL, it's low-key now with Trevor Portals and IL, college is talking about NFL. Nick Saban don't want nothing to do with it. When that shit comes on in the NFL, he's like, not you know what? This shit college is NFL. worse than the NFL. It's giving Miami Dolphins again. College is worse than the NFL. This. College worse than the NFL. At least NFL, that's I can sign somebody for four years. I can sign somebody for three years. I can sign somebody for two years. In college, in college, the number one dynamic, what they dealing with right now, and the reason why that's him, that's Barry right. told him to require, Miss Saban told him to require. Uh, nigga had half of a bad year. You have the problem of a he nigga not year, being man. a top athlete. Hey, this is the big problem right now is – it's not Thank about really the star players. It's not about the Caleb's and all of these guys. It is about the third stringers who even who ain't showed you shit, but now they know that these niggas getting money. So it's like, hey, bro, fifty k, I'm gonna leave and go to Tulsa and be the starter. Well, what if they love like, the game and they just like, want to? Of play? course, you could be the starter at Tulsa, play? nigga. But you didn't do what you needed to do to be the first string at Alabama. But now you requesting fifty thousand dollars. All but, because you know it's nil out here. So, hold on, hold so on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Lonnie, 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 Lonnie. Hold, hold on, Rand. And another side of that. So say, say they're like, "Hey, I'm not good enough to play in Alabama, but I do. I love the game. I want to play somewhere." And this, and this team, this other college is offering me money to be their starter, and I know I'm not going to make it in Alabama. So they you leave. No, you don't know though. Well, I'm saying, what? Well, well, that's how they feel. That, well, if that's how they feel. You just you know. third string for right now. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. As a man, get out your fucking feelings and live in logic, nigga, and be a man and put your big boy pants Can't on. be a man with Ask yourself bro. this. Ask yourself this. Did I do everything I possibly could to start? Was I the and first thing to say? Hey, I'm, not I'm not was better I than these niggas. Was I, I want to get paid. Was I, this? Was I studying? I want to get paid. Was I, I doing want to start? play. I want to play and I want to get play. paid and I'm not and I'm not better than these niggas. And, and I and be, be, being a man is not helping like helping put food on the table if I'm not one of the big family. recruits. If I'm a Damn third I'm string up. skill set, that shit is not gonna change my NIL deal. It's not. I'm just gonna but go over a nigga like Derek Henry, who was a top prospect come out of college. I mean, I high school my nigga. If I went somewhere else, if I could, if I had NIL deals and I had transfer portals, I could have went somewhere else, started from my freshman year. And I still went to the NFL, but boy, what are we no talking guarantee. about? There's no guarantee. There's no guarantee that because the lessons he learned. I mean, the only guarantee is playing for The lessons he learned from coming up from fifth string applied to him. Now the he's running he for 2,000 yards in the NFL. The lessons he learned. So you don't think it was Derek Henry's ability learned. that helped him run 2,000 yards in every, in every stage of his life? No. Nope. You think it was Bama? Nope. I think it was the adversity he went through when he was at Alabama. Not it was Alabama. It was how he was able to get from that. Yo, get the fuck off. He ran for 2K because he came Derrick Henry. What are we saying? He had he had two issues that can get fixed that running backs work all the time. Fumbling and every every running back drill that have practice spring ball OTAs. Didn't Yeldon also have a fumbling problem? Work on getting low every single time. Are we really about to say Derrick Henry? Yo, didn't Adrian Peterson 
make it to the NFL, fumbling the ball, and running to yes. an What the his right? Yes. Yes. Yes, early. Yes. Yes. It still became one of the top five greatest running backs of all time. Ran for 2K because of adversity? Nigga, he ran for 2K because he's the fucking anomaly of this fucking NFL world. No. It's a Derrick Henry. That he said no. played a part in him to who he was becoming man. 2K rusher, bro. He really didn't even Fuck touch that. that at all. All that plays a part <laughs> into it. This nigga like said, said the adversity bro, it's, at Bama. It's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of bullshit moments you're gonna face when you running the ball. I made you when you running the ball. There's a lot of adversity you go face. You go face stack boxes. This dude don't block. That don't happen how it need to, bro. At the end of the day, bro, if you don't practice going through them adverse moments, you don't know how you respond. If you have nice, adverse nice. moments over hey, and over no, to hey, where he's a more nice, nice. adverse. You go through adversity with fall camp workouts. Like, bro, the shit that you're saying for Derrick Henry or why he ran for 2K mm-hmm. gets worked on every day. Like, that's not – like, what – like, what – you can have bumbling problems and still be that guy. That doesn't mean anything. Like what you, like what Max said, TJ Yeldon used to fumble the ball all the time. He still went crazy. TJ Yeldon not fumble the ball at Alabama like that. I don't know what TJ Yeldon. Y'all, y'all talking about in the NFL. Look, I, didn't look up he many fumbles, like I thought he did have a fumbling problem. He didn't fumble like that. Like that you, don't play, you don't play at Alabama fumbling like that. Fuck out of here. Because I love I love TJ Yeldon, but I'm saying like I, I thought that you was you gonna play at Alabama Nick Saban being, like being, 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 being the slave master of discipline that he is. You think he just gonna let somebody just cough drop all day and night out there, huh? And start <laughs> mute this nigga, man. Fuck out of here. That was stupid as hell. No, no, y'all you, you just crashing over Bama because you I'm not crashing over Bama, nigga. Y'all, 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 y'all just y'all you just are. preaching, man, to these kids. Bro. You you literally just said Derek Henry. You need that nigga on your shirt. We need Jesus, nigga. You tripping? You need Talk Jesus. About we need to pray about. Him. We already talked about Jamison Williams. He couldn't run from the grind. Like, how can you run from the grind and you never get your opportunity? Roll time. He waited till he was I, a junior. I just, I just googled TJ Yeldon fumbles, and there are all these articles how he had back to back weeks with fumbles, and how the team sixteen fumbles between him and Eddie Lacy in nine games. God damn. Oh, oh, TJ. Hey, 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 hey. 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 Hey, This is the Hold on, hold on. Hey, guys, guys. This is the Bama fan who crashes out and rotted dollars, and he still know what the fuck he's talking about. I know what I'm talking about, bro. You niggas just want to get articles, my nigga. Like, that's kind of Now, wait, whoa. Yo, you moving the goat. Yo, bro. Lottie just brought up how these watch them games, nigga. I'm trying to find out how many fumbles he had. No, I'm not. I'm not listening to you because I watch the games. Bama okay, say wait, every wait, nigga wait. that play Alabama wait, wait. walks on water. Wait, so wait, so wait. So you're hitting us with the walk on water. Wait, so wait, 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 wait. Hey, he's hitting us. Lonnie, he's hitting us with the watch the games for fucking fumbles. He's hitting us with. That's what he's hitting us with, y'all. Y'all running them stats. Oh, that's what he's hitting us with. Y'all running them stats. Not with how the how the old line play, how bad the old line. Maybe we need to watch some film on that. We're talking about fumbles. We know how fumbles work. They didn't have no fumbling problem. Are you joking? They didn't have a fumbling problem. Bro, they 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 said the niggas fumbled. Now he just brought up an article about TJ Yeldon's fumbling problem. Man, they are not the only person from Bama. He had a fumble in back to back games. They did not have a fumbling problem like that. All right, you just lying. You niggas is just searching for something, nigga. And We're searching, but Lonnie just searched up an article and found it to eat your whole logic. Okay, go go ahead. Makes no sense, bro. Yeah, I, don't have to go, I don't have to go off another nigga. Well, hot, nigga. I watch the games, nigga. Fuck out of here. Well, I mean, what an episode. I used to be live at the motherfuckers. Fuck out of here, Shit. nigga. I see, an and I see none of you niggas up there. We love, we love a good I, 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 I was in college, family. Like that. Yeah, sometimes none of you niggas, it, it just, none of you niggas it, it, bought it, it, no nosebleed seats, nigga. Fuck out of here. Co- right. Bama, that's yeah, halfway yeah, across yeah, the country. I'm going to be at the crib. Fuck out of here. I'm not being no nosebleeds. Fuck out of here. Bama sound like the nigga on the beginning of the Chief Keith song, Love Sosa. Tell me about a team I watch. Who was rooting for Chief Keith? I watch Alabama. You niggas know how you got Eddie Lake. You're the only person that watch Alabama. Y'all watch from the head of wins, though. I'm smart. That's what he's doing right now. They going to lose. That's what y'all watch for. Hey, bro, this the week Bama lose. Oh, shit, they don't lose. This the week Bama go lose. Oh, shit, they ain't losing. Like, you niggas is haters, nigga. 
Fuck out of here. You bullshit. Cause I said oh, when they play in Michigan, I said this is what they're gonna lose. And guess what? Them niggas lost. Man, <laughs> you niggas say that every week. <laughs> they lost. I mean, Mickey Barnes I mean, up here talking crazy, nigga. You say that every week. If I say one team go lose every fucking week and they finally lose, nigga, you not uh, you not prophesizing shit. Nigga you just a hater better. that said the same shit over and over. Y'all niggas gonna lose for you. Fuck out of here, nigga. <sighs> what a man. All right, well, I love you, boys. It's man, been a great man, show. Man, man, man. We appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all tomorrow for open field, and we'll get ready for the drive. Go to the drive, y'all. We're a few weeks out to drive day. Cannot Alabama. wait. Alabama. Alabama. Make sure I tap we have 10 fumbles. We have 10 fumbles. Tap in with JEB. Tap in, y'all. We love y'all.